Hello, hello. Um, yes. Yes. Um, this place, I mean, the camera is over on this side, so you can't really see the mess that is on that side. Why is the pillows not? Who sleeps here? Um, I don't know. Maybe the, the Matthew's uh, staff lah. They so dedicated to working that they bring their pillow and sleep here. B. Oh, wow. Where? B B B. What a way to start the pot, lah! Huh? Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, by the way, we already started recording. Yep. That's how yeah. chill we are. Uh, the moment we walk Hello. in and sit down, we start recording. Mic test. Mic. Can we hear you? Uh, Bill. Can you hear yourself? Uh, no. You can't uh, hear yourself. Wait, wait. A little bit. Uh, can you go a little bit up? L- l- ooh, what? Ooh. Make the microphone a little bit louder. Uh. Oh, ASMR. ASMR. Yeah, it might be the headphone. Check ASMR. Oh, the cable is really long. Uh. Hmm. Where am I going with this? Hmm. What am I doing? Can you hear? ASMR. ASMR. You even hear that? Budo lah, buddy. Bo. Boleh go. Boleh go. Ni okay go. <coughs> Sorry, uh, you you talking to the wrong ah. guy about green and ah okay oh. yeah you kind of deaf ah huh? everyone's volume oh, yeah, here I yours is like Brian I, I, is I am deaf Brian is uh, color blind yeah slide like, slide slide chill chill guys I am I am it's quite normal to be color blind huh? uh, yes uh, I only have seventy yes, percent yes. my hearing thanks to music degree <laughs> <laughs> oh good really yeah okay they they did a test how did they do this test it's like the you know the loud frequency thing where they go ting Or they do the low, mm, yeah. then they go all the way higher. Yeah, so like five stages, and I could, like okay, the first one I was like, okay, that's clear, you know. Okay. Second one, okay. Third one, I'm gone. So I oh, only hear two out of five. Okay. Wow. <laughs> really? That's crazy, man. All right. So, um, FYI, we've got a guest today. Yeah. Um, oh. Ah, go, remember go. press the right button, ah. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Don't like um. Don't don't press yeah. this. Don't introduce, don't introduce him this way, yeah. Uh. Oh my but, god! But but I feel like this episode is a long time coming. Uh, we should have invited you a long ass time ago on the pod. Sorry, it took two years, huh? Sorry, it took two and a half years, bro. <laughs> it's fine, man. Yeah, but uh, I think it's a perfect time because you just launched a new collection. I think we should talk about it as well since the Olympics is still happening. Mm. And um, yeah, man, <coughs> welcome on the pod, Hugh from Pastor Motor. <laughs> Woo! Happy to be here. Bow, 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 bow. Okay, for those who don't know who Hugh is, can you just give like a, mm. you know, yeah. like you you know when you high school you do uh, summary, yeah. Yeah, elevator pitch, uh, like you, you elevator the, pitch. You are the new student lah, so you just have to give a quick introduction. New student, uh, SPM, SPM, student student summary. Student. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I've been I've been put I've been put headphones on a long time. Last oh, one really? was on yeah. uh, probably Arnold's pod or something. Oh, oh really? Yeah. yeah. So it kind you of you haven't been on a pod in a while. Uh. In a while. You got headphones at Arnold's one? Yeah. Yeah. I there, was, there was. There was. Yeah, there was. Yeah. There was. Hey, 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 please, ah, uh, Arnold quite. Hey. Arnold from Hits, bro. He's quite I proper. Lucas, okay. Lucas. No. Lucas. 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 Yeah. He's a tech guy. Ours. We got during what do you call it? The PKP days. So we had to bring our own one. Um, yeah, we recently just only bought our own headphones. Yeah. Okay. We kind of like upgraded a little bit, lah. A little okay. bit. Okay. So, sorry to interrupt you. Yeah. No, all good. All good. Hey guys, uh, Hugh here. Yeah. Just one of the co-founders of uh, Malaysian streetwear label Tesla Motor Clothing. How many years already? Uh, as of March 2025, 15. So we're God, at, uh, 14 wow, at 14. Wow. At the moment, yeah. Damn. Yeah. So, um, yeah, let's go down a bit of memory lane, lah. Like. When you guys started, right? I remember it was hmm. Urban Scapes or something like that. That's right. Yeah, Urban Scapes. And it's a I, picture I, I of a. I was there, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's how old. It's crazy, right? <laughs> yeah, I was I, there I, too. I, I, your jungle is so wide, already, bro. Urban Scapes, huh? She. I know a lot of the guys in the office. A lot of them, they have not heard of Urban Scapes. <laughs> <laughs> that's how old it is, lah. Yes. Damn, bro. <laughs> yes, dude. I was at Urban Scapes. So too. the way I always yeah. have to describe it was like, yeah, you know, Urban Scapes, like. Um, uh, Uh, what's the concert which just got cancelled? Good vibes. Good vibes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Good vibes of uh, yes. 2010. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, and then you, you guys were doing that whole Nasi Lemak T-shirt, right? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's so how it was like started. that was the first first ever one was that Nasla Mark printed on the t shirt, right? It was Correct, it was yeah. it was five t shirts. Okay. So we called it uh KL through our eyes. Yeah. Um I think how that all came about was none of us could design. Arthur was the guy Arthur took the picture, right? The photos. Okay. We, could, we were like, hey, all of us could shoot. That was like Instagram was just coming to the picture as well. Yeah. Like during yeah. that during yeah. that period. I remember this, yeah. There we go, yeah. So uh yeah, mm-hmm. we did five and it was the Lurung Haji type. Upside down was the flats. This was in Oakland Road. This is Coleman. Yeah. This is the Along stickers. And uh, the, w- the last one at the bottom was the uh, infamous... Uh, bro, WordPress, bro. Trailer. WordPress. <laughs> WordPress for <laughs> life. <laughs> I don't believe this still up, man. I can't. <laughs> I don't even know this site's still up. Yeah, yeah, all of us that's still the up. genius of uh, Victor. Right there. He's really good at pulling out things that... Uh, pulling up things. Not Ooh, pulling. scary. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know that Anna Abu, right? Yes. Anna Abu was on the pod. Okay. And then she she did mention, oh, I used to have a blog and we sell thrifted stuff on the blog. Bam. And then we, uh, and I then deleted she, it already. Yeah, she, she said, said I deleted, yeah, I deleted it, it, so I do, don't don't bother finding. Yeah. Yeah. Buggers, you can pull it out, you know. You know I, I, I don't know it. how he yeah. did it, but managed to find all her old embarrassing pictures. Embarrassing lah. To her, it's embarrassing. To us, we had a good laugh yeah. lah. But oh, that's cool. That's yeah. Cool. That's cool. So so um. FYI, there's like four of you guys who started this, right? Um, so the initial was three. Three? It was me, Arnold, and his younger brother, Arthur. Arthur, okay. So three of us, we started it. <laughs> and then after that, we were Arthur's like... Why you laugh? Why you laugh? <laughs> it's just Arthur, man. <laughs> <laughs> Arthur. A lot of good memories. <laughs> no, no, good times. Good times for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's, he's grown up a lot yeah. over the years. Has he? Has he? Are you sure? <laughs> in, in some ways. In some uh, ways. In some you ways. look... I mean, I, I still follow him on Instagram. I tried to sober up day one. Yes. <laughs> That's all I see. Day one, every day. Day one. <laughs> ah man. So yeah, it was you, Anna, and Arthur. Yep. Yeah, remember yeah. three of us. And then after that, we we kind of needed to get our finances in order. Yeah. So my brother came on board. Okay. Uh, and then Eddie. <laughs> so happens. Uh, during that period of time, we came across Eddie, and we said, "Hey, do you okay. want to join us?" And yeah. What was Eddie doing in the company? Uh, he was doing ops, man. Okay. 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 Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, ops stuff. So all the boring stuff, uh, yeah. So your brother yeah, and yeah. Eddie were best friends, like, I guess. Yeah, they were, they were, they were. They have to yeah. like make sure you holding guys the are holding are, the okay, fort okay, while okay, we're out okay. there spending money. So, so the three of you all, like, how how did this whole whole pastor and water idea came about? Like, were you all like? I mean, hmm. let's start with the name. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the name. So. Uh, well, well, okay, wait, wait. Be- before we go down, like, there's a reason why I'm doing this. It's because 15 years is a long ass time, man. Yeah. Mm. It's a long ass time, and I think. Oh my god, look at Arnold there, Jesus. <laughs> wow, his wife actually kinda like looks ten percent like this girl. <laughs> <laughs> with, with glasses, yeah. Mix in, mix in. Wow. Shit man, I haven't seen these photos a long time. Look wow, at Edric. Oh my hey, god. Davin. That's Davin. Hyper Beats. Do you know it's old when the tiger beer can looks different, bro? Uh. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so I, I was saying, you know, the reason why we, we want to really go down this history route and, mm. and 15 years is a long ass time, man. 15 years, right? I think most of us not on Instagram also. 15 years this year? Next, next year. year. Next March, year. March yeah. next year, 15 years. Really. It's crazy, man. So, um, 20, and I 2010, think... 2010, right? 2010, am I right? 2010, uh, 2010. Yeah, that's right. The thing about streetwear is we always have to like... I mean, we also do it in Snickola. Every year we've got to talk about the same thing. Yeah. Kind of like the same thing, like sneaker la, come to sneaker la, and yeah. but you have to go and find a different crowd, a younger crowd. Sure. Every yeah. year we have to do the same thing, right? So um, I'm pretty sure there's like a bunch of people who've heard of the brand, yep. you know, like maybe a few years, five years, four years, but they Definitely, don't know yeah. the past 10 years, the history yeah. of how it started. Yeah. And to tell them that it's 15 years old, they, I pro- they probably do not know that it's 15 years mm. as well. So I think, yeah, so like why the name and like how do you guys start it? Yeah, so the name itself, uh, I still remember it clearly. We were at the Mama Bangsa Davies Corner when it was the, actually at the corner. The OG, <laughs> OG Davies Corner with, yes, the, with yes, the grumpy yes. uncle at the counter. That's right, that's right. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, we were just seated there, man, and we were thinking about names. We, the initial name we thought about was the Fifth Estate, and the Fifth Estate was, uh, it came from like, you know, uh, religion was like one estate, the government, oh, media yeah. was like, you know, the yep. Fourth Estate, and we wanted to be like the Fifth Thing. But we kind of realized that, hey, you know, actually the name's taken. Someone actually thought of oh, the idea. Really? Okay. We actually yeah. thought it was a cool name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then... Someone um, else thought it was a cool name too, apparently. <laughs> yes. And then after, I, I clearly remember Arthur said something like, hey, you know, dropping bombs or like Mota. And then Mota came up. And then I think it was Arnold who said like, hey, you know, Pestle and Mota. 
then we're like, okay, why? Right? And then we're like, hey, all three of us are Asian boys. Best yeah. moda can be found yeah. in every Asian household. Yeah. And uh, on top of that, we all like different ingredients, right? <coughs> like our experiences, the mm. things that we've been through, uh, yep. you know, our studies. We bring different things to the table. Yep. Yeah. And that resonates as well now with like the team that we have. Everyone's added on, right? So mm. all these different ingredients put into a festival motor, smashed up, and that's what you get, the brand. Nice. nice. Yeah. yeah. Wow, okay. So, yeah, that's a, actually, is, this is the first time I'm actually hearing this really, explanation. Yeah. I, I feel like I've said this a hundred times, man. <laughs> Maybe not to I, you. I'm, one, yeah, I'm yeah. one of those who don't read. Uh. Yeah, 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 um, yeah I'm, perhaps, perhaps. I'm like, yeah, but, I'm but very bad at reading. Like Batu Lesong. Batu Lesong, yeah. Batu Lesong, yeah, correct. You would know, bro. You're Malay, right? Yeah, tapi wow. I I need to double triple check. You 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 have to teach us, bro. I get the facts wrong sometimes a lot. You, oh really? Sometimes a lot. <laughs> but uh, Kelantan, macam mana? Butter, butter, ah? butter, butter. <laughs> Give chance, ah, guys. Can ah? Can we all be more merciful here? Tak leh, kau tak leh. Ocean, where's where's Ocean? Ocean, ah, Ocean. Brother, I do not pronounce ocean. He say ocean. Okay, uh-huh. okay, never mind, never mind. Okay, we're talking about Hugh now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So, so fifteen years, and yeah, I remember the T-shirt. It took it took KL by storm, man. Um, damn, a lot of people were wearing that T-shirt. Right? Yeah, man. I think timing was right. Yeah. yeah, you know. Um, I think some of the other brands which were out then they had Lancy. Lancy was was out yeah, there. Yeah. Um, who else were there? So, um, I think Aku Design maybe. Aku Design. They've been around for a long time. Yeah? They've been around actually, for a long no, time. sorry, it was Device. Device. Yeah. Device. Yes. device. Actually, yeah. Device is one of the oldest, actually. And the uh, oldest. Yeah, Device. Yeah. They, they had the store in Tamantun. Yes. Mm. Bought some mm. stuff up there. Yeah. Correct, correct. Yes, yes. Do, can you reveal that the Naslamat t shirt, right? Mm. I think that's like the most amount of t shirts sold, right? Um, I, I don't know. Like, oh, was it which the, one? The Indomie? The Indo- sorry, the Indomie one. Hey, can you stop it, uh, please? Uh, Don't bring up stuff that is like. Gosh, okay, enough, enough. Oh, right. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Look at you. <laughs> Jesus. Where did wow. you get this? Oh wow. Oh, wow. Oh okay. Oh Chinese. Blur. Okay, okay. Enough, enough, enough. Jeez. <laughs> We're talking about flicker, bro. But but you okay? Not about me without beard. Right. So yeah. yeah. So yeah, like, uh, is that your all-time like most sold no, t-shirt no, ever? No, or no, 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 no. Which one is I, it? I I think if anything was the KL reverse. The KL reverse, right? KL reverse. Uh, that was flying. The, until today, I still see it on cars. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the stickers, yeah, yeah, yeah. In terms of the stickers yeah. yeah. People still ask us to bring it back. I mean, we haven't brought it back in a long time. Yeah. Yeah. We, recently, we were thinking about kind of bringing it back in like you a different rendition. Should we man? Yeah, perhaps, yeah. And, uh, but we saw a couple of uh, vendors selling it on Shopee. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Wow. We just, only yesterday, actually, we just Damn. checked it out. Yeah, so people are selling that on Shopee. Um, using my photo as well, because I'm holding it up. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Oh, my face is covered, love. I realized that. Jeez. How do you stop that? I, I, I knew, I knew oh, them. Do you stop that or do you feel... How do you feel about that? I mean... You feel flattered, but at the same time... Like, so so mm. we've, we've been in that type of position before. But yeah. I think, you know, for these guys, a little bit difficult. But there was once where we, we came across some of our stuff... Um, selling in like this Jaya Giants and, and all that mm. and it was like quite really? a big store this Damn. guy had something like 20-30 stores like, uh, like, all your, these, like, like your actual one or is it imitation imitation, imitation oh, yeah. Okay. yeah so that that guy we managed to get a hold of him and yeah. obviously we, we served him a letter lah. yeah of course yeah. You know? so but I mean all these other smaller guys I think it's a little bit difficult so yeah. we just uh, okay you know, we take it as a compliment. La. Correct, mm. yeah. Did you see the Shopee, the count there, how many sold? La? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the thousands <laughs> or what? Like. No, 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 it was not. Uh, we, that's why we were looking as well when he actually uploaded it, but we, we couldn't find it. Crazy, eh? Yeah. That's insane, man. Quite ballsy, I, I, yeah. I think I kind of knew like the brand was like super alive, like actually 2018 when I went for the comedy festival mm. in Melbourne. And then I was doing a show. And then after the show ended, this one Masale guy, wife, Malaysian, Mm. He came up to me like, bro, I'm Malaysian, bro. Then he had the KL. Oh, wow. Okay. Back, the backwards t-shirt. And I'm like, I think that's a Basle Mota t-shirt. Right? <laughs> you got it? Like, I don't know, man. It was my wife's one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How he fit in your wife's t-shirt? It was small. La. It was small. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, p- not particular. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. But I was like, yeah, man, that was quite crazy because 2000, but before that, when I was traveling in mm. uh, Sydney as well, I remember seeing walking down in like, you know, Newtown. Yep. 
like a few kids and I knew they were Malaysians because you know lah quite yeah, obvious yeah, yeah, quite yeah, obvious yeah. Yeah. if you're rocking a pastel motor yeah, it's quite obvious like, and then like you know it, it was nice to see like oh you know people are wearing it outside of Malaysia you know yeah. Yeah. it was pretty cool to see that happening yeah 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 yeah, yeah actually do you know uh, Tim and uh, who right Tim and what's what's the other guy um, the guys in Melbourne Uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Tim and, and Aaron, Aaron. Aaron, 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 Aaron yeah. yeah. So these two guys, they're they're from uh, from Australia. They're full, yes. full blown blown Aussie, this, but they're yeah. Asian boys, lah, right? It's a crazy story, dude. And um, so this was, I think, like 2016 or 2015, easily, where yes. I think they came here for a holiday or something, or, or someone bought them PMC T-shirts, mm. and uh, they wore it in Melbourne. Okay, just one day, and uh, a couple of uh, in the club, a couple yeah. of Malaysian guys went up to them. We're like, "Oh my goodness, I know, I know this brand. You yeah. know, I can't believe yeah. you're rocking it." Blah blah blah, and they were, you know, they actually they they applied for internship in uh, PMC for something like four or five months. So okay. they flew in, wow, uh, from wow. Melbourne and worked with us. Yes, wow. And uh, you know, for them, when I said, "Hey, why did you even apply?" and they were like, "You know, I was so surprised that through this T-shirt, yeah, these people came to talk to me, yeah. and you know, we became good friends and whatnot." So yeah. Yeah. that was their reason. So yeah, we we have been keeping in touch, and it was cool. Yeah, yeah. I I, I still text uh, Aaron once in a while. I mean, on IG lah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They are both quite quite. Mm. Uh, quite a character uh. yeah <laughs> I think I first started wearing PMC it was like Urban Scapes as well I think you guys used to have like a booth in Urban Scapes and there was a little bit of like a discount bin mm. and I was a high school I was a high school student yeah really have wow my, yeah that was like 2010 2010 2010 I was yeah. high school I, I, bro I was mm. speak, like from Fiverr so the yeah, discount bin <laughs> was like super cheap Yep. So that was what I could wear last time. But I remember like the own the first PMC thing that I bought like full price yep. was the black singlet with the gambar kampung. Oh yeah, yeah. Hey, that's really early as well. Yeah, those were early days. That was like yeah. 2011. Yeah, easily 2011. Because uh, that time my college, uh, they used to have like these team <laughs> team days. So that day the team was like a singlet tank top. Wear a tank top to, oh, uh, and oh. I didn't really have a singlet. Okay. So I I looked yeah. at Zalora. <laughs> yeah. Oh really? Okay. <laughs> I found yeah. it as a logo. It's like PMC. It's like oh, okay. It was like it was like sixty bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think easily. Super yeah. cheap. You can't get away with selling something with sixty bucks nowadays, Dude, man. Dude, back nowadays, then yeah. we were selling our t-shirts at forty. Yeah, forty yeah. ringgit. Our yeah. pocket tees were thirty-five. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I know. So yeah. That that that's what it was like the landscape. Back we even then. had this conversation so many years ago, right? We were selling. I think you were trying to like. Go above the fifty ringgit mark, and then mm. I think you guys one of the first to sell like sixty, seventy ringgit, yeah. mm. and even that also you're gonna backlash like mad, yeah, yeah. yeah. right? Like, but now looking back fifteen years later, like mm. yeah. one eight nine is a t-shirt oh. price, yeah, one four nine, one three nine is like it, we've come a long way, man, and we in have. terms of as a scene and and as as the brand as well, I think it's more no- most noticeable for you guys because you guys started out at like thirty five, fifty, and now you guys are at where you're at now, you know. Sure. It's like, uh, was that a natural progression? Uh, I mean, we had to keep up with times, right? Like, I mean, the first batch that we did, I still remember the quality is quite shit, lah. <laughs> it was bad. Like uh, local I still producer, remember, yeah. even yeah, local producer. We, I mean, back then you you couldn't find any manufacturers. Not like today, like you know, jump on Alibaba, type yeah. something in, and you're good to go, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So back then we had to kind of ask around, and it was like a friend whose mom was like a seamstress, and she introduced us to like uh, this this printer, and okay. Back then it was like plastic sole, and you can imagine like that big plate, right? Mm. It's like this heavy ass yep. rubber print. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like my, my friends used to say, it's good for snowboarding, you know, because it's wind resistant. <laughs> 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 so we were like, oh shit, bring out, bring out the PMC t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> so we snowboarding. So like you know the wi- the wind, it yeah, yeah. against the wind. I mean that's how thick the print was lah back then. I mean tahan a lot, mm. but the rest of the shit with the t-shirt lari lah. So Must be expensive to print that though. It was, it was, it was. Yeah. But can still sell 35 is pretty amazing. Mm. Looking back, 35 ringgit t-shirt is like, man, miss those days, we. I think the coolest, <laughs> my favorite PMC item that you guys have made, and I think it's like I've said this to you before, mm. is the Guma Sukan one. Oh yeah, because yeah, right? yeah, I had yeah, the Gaglin. Yeah. Because back then that was like during the time of Gaglin, right? That was the mm. time you go to the like the gigs and all that, and, mm. and all, everyone's wearing like Gaglin tee. Right. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So they did this Guma Sukan series, which was just like. Yellow, yellow house, green house. Yellow was pisang. Pisang. Yep. pisang. I had the yellow one. Mm. Okay. So you had, um, I think the purple as well, something like that. Manga, I think. Uh, ma- uh, mangis or something. Mangis, mangis, yeah, mangis. Yeah, so it was like different colors. And all. It's one of the coolest things ever. But I'm not sure whether 
That's still relevant. This, the schools now still have a masukan. Yeah, like yeah, that? yeah, they do. Yeah, they of do. course, they do. They do. Yes, yes. I don't do. know. It's been a while, man. It's been. Bro, bro. I've yeah, eight year old. Yeah. I know. Yeah. They, they have. They have. They have. Uh, rumah sukan yes. Yeah. Marching in the the full works. Yeah. Everything. Everything. Yes. Yeah. Would, would releasing something like that still be relevant now? As in, like, would it be cringe to wear? I, I, don't, I don't know, lah. La. I don't think so. Last I think kind of cool, but I don't. I don't know what kids these days. I don't know Gen Z now. Yeah. What What do they like? I mean, you you work with a lot of Gen Zs, right? Oh yeah, mm. let's go. Let's get into that. Yeah. So <laughs> like, I, I don't know because fifteen years is a long time. Yep. Right. Let's not discount the fact that it it really is a long time, and there's a lot of trends that come come and go. But for sure, yeah. I think, and also like the turnover it, as as a business, also people, you know, you're working with younger and younger people all, all the time. So like, how is that in terms of like as a businessman working mm. with these people? One challenging, yeah. challenging, right? <laughs> Second is producing the stuff for this crowd, yeah, as as well, right? And yeah. like a brand to produce and and also to foresee what trends are coming, yeah, yeah. So like the first question is like, how do you work with them? How, what's it like working with yeah. them? Yeah, mm. um, I th- I think even myself as a well a business owner or you know whatnot. I think obviously I have to kind of like change my style uh, <laughs> okay. over, over the years. Um, <laughs> Uh, I actually do a lot of research, you know. For, fortunately for ChatGPT as well, <laughs> and you know, having to like research yeah. things and like how I should say it or whatnot, right? Yeah. Um, but I think it comes with experience. Like the more you kind of do it, you kind of understand. Um, I think overall, when it comes to you know working with the younger generation, a lot of them they've got a lot of creative ideas. They're actually, really smart, really really smart. Um, and I think one of the things that they look for is always a challenge. It may not be, I mean, money is obviously important. Mm. Everyone needs money to live and whatnot, but mm. they want a challenge in life. Mm. Yeah. So for us as a brand, you know, to ensure that we can keep them is always about how do we constantly stimulate, mm. um, you know, have that kind of like stimulating sort of environment and, you know, constantly sort of like push boundaries yep. and, and you have to, you know, psych them up lah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. I think it's it's a lot of that, and that requires a lot of energy. Not keep that driven, uh. Yeah. So I think yeah, that's. Can you give an things. example, like you know, keep like give them energy, like mm. just just uh or keep them interested in a way, right? Yeah. To to be because yeah, I would say I okay. mean especially in work work office okay. culture right now, I mean we talk about uh what do you call it work uh workplace <coughs> loyalty sure. Because nowadays we the main thing that a lot of people in HR always talk about like oh young the Gen Z they yeah. don't have the company loyalty anymore. Sure. How how they loyal to this lah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like but not necessary though. Yeah. They either loyal to this or they loyal to like fulfillment lah. Yeah. So exactly. Yeah. That that is the word. It's really recognition. Okay. Honestly, because I think what has keep kept me going as well for like over 15 years is really recognition. Like that is the energy which you know keeps me getting up and like okay, I still want to do it. You know, we still we're still somewhat making waves in you know different areas and whatnot. So I think even for them and as a as a so called leader of the business is providing that that opportunity. Hmm. Yeah. So an example would be like a monsoon showcase that happened last year. I didn't go up. It was uh, Jack and Eva. Yep. Jack and Eva are the ones who went up and you know said, "Hey, my collection." Yeah, 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 yeah. So a lot of other opportunities as well. Be like whether it be media interviews and mm. what. And I totally get it because you know I feel the same way. Yeah, yeah. I think you want to be recognized for your work. Yep. Um. So I I would say you know that that would be an example. Okay. And 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 that's difficult, right? Because again, you can't do that for everyone. And everyone, there's also you know you have to obviously work hard to get there before you can experience that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you can't. Yeah. yeah, you can't just lay it on the plate for them immediately. Mm. So like, you know, it of takes course. time. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, a lot yeah, of hard yeah. work. I guess, guess it, it yeah. takes a lot of trust from your side as well to to like yeah. step aside and like, okay, it's yeah. your time. You're going to do it. Yeah. So yeah. E- even when you speak about trends as well, I think that's a big one. Like. Um, in this, I mean, I, I still like to go, to give my input in terms mm. yeah. of because at the end of the day, I want to wear, I want to make yeah. what I want to wear. Yeah, correct. Yeah. yeah. So I always give my input like, hey, but then, you know, from time to time, like, for example, I, I told them recently, um, hey, guys, let's can we make a bucket hat? And they're like, who fuck wears bucket hat? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> we just had this conversation like last week. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I took out the gun and never held back. I had a little <laughs> Oh. I mean, I've got like a Ralph bucket hat. I think it's yeah. pretty fucking cool. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, no one wears a bucket hat nowadays, yeah. right? Yeah, I think it's how you style it. Yeah, as well. it's how you style it. So like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Has yeah. there been a lot of other in- instances where like other tak macam baju yang you yourself you you want to wear this kind of thing, but everyone's like, no, we can't make that. It's not gonna sell. 
Um, in recent memory. Uh, I mean, nothing comes to mind besides that bucket hat. <laughs> but, uh, but something I'm pushing a lot more is for cut and sew. So mm, okay. I think that's something that we can expect a expect lot more. Uh, cleaner pieces, more cut and sew, yeah. more sort of like tailored fits. Um, yeah, that's something we're currently... Would, would you think, would you say it's because of your age? That's why you're more into like shirt, cut and sew stuff? Uh, I, I think definitely age plays a part. <laughs> <laughs> because it's also like you know where you hang out what you do right yeah, yeah. so um, and also like the people are kind of hang around with I mean these days if you look at Arnold if you look at like Eddie you know completely <laughs> in terms of their style it's like very very different compared yeah. to before and you know for me I still try to keep make sure that hey you know I mean I work in the streetwear company yeah, yeah, so you still yeah. got to kind of look the part a little but bit but I would say currently shirts cut and sew it's also in it's, yeah. it's yeah. also in yeah, it, it, it is yeah. in it is in to dress like uncles yeah Old money, the, uncle the, vibe. The, the sign file vibe. Yeah. 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 So I, I, I don't know what's what's up with this current generation. They, yeah. they like to um, sort of reference the 90s. They like to cosplay old people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but do it their own way. Lah, you know, like, oh. mm. I, I, I have a question. Like, uh, maybe... Asa, bro. It's okay. It's a uh, podcast, bro. Yeah, I know, I know. You raise hand first. I, 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 I'm like sounding <laughs> like radio like that. Go, you have a podcast? You have a podcast? No, no, no. Because I, I, I want to know like how, what... Oh, no, sorry. How do you guys? Meow meow. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Jesus. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm no, sorry, no. bro. I'm sorry. What, what it means? Like, what it means? Like, how, is that like a think tank when you all come up with your collections and stuff mm. like that? Like, how how does that process come in? Because yeah. I'm always I'm always interested in creation. Sure. Because, because the process of it. It's right? not easy. Uh, because I'm a because when I do stand up, it's, it's like people think it's so easy to just go up and then make jokes. But yep. It takes a lot of work to you know write and then do open mics and then so how 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 does that work for your brand? Yeah, I, I think similarly as well. Uh, yeah, there is a lot of uh, you know brainstorming. I think especially right now we do try to get you know as much input not only from within the team and it's not only within the creative team but everyone. Mm. Right? So obviously one of the questions that we ask ourselves, you know, will you wear this? Will you buy this? Okay. Will you spend X amount of money on this? Mm. So that's the kind of questions that we ask. Uh, but but going to in terms of like the design process, I think I normally allow uh, or, or or Jack and Eva are the ones which they take the lead. They come up with like a theme. They mm. come up with like I mean we we might set obviously their themes like maybe it's like Madeka. Okay. You know Malaysia month. Okay, we need you know something which kind of more centered around like you know our our country. Say for example. So then they come up with several different options. We obviously brainstorm. We talk about it, mm. and then from there we develop that into whether it be actual pieces or stories you know within the collection itself okay. yep. yeah wow That's so uh currently how far ahead do you guys produce uh Oh, not far enough to be honest <laughs> one year yeah. six months no so that's the thing right because we stopped doing wholesale okay so we completely okay. stopped doing wholesale oh, okay. i think the the landscape has changed a lot in terms of the way that we release stuff back then we used mm. to do like you know spring summer yeah. fall winter and all yeah, that yeah 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 uh, but right now we it, it's more frequency, so we we I, I, and and we think that's the right yeah. way, just because it's so noisy, right? I yeah, think the landscape yeah. overall. So it's about who can make make the most noise. Yeah. So for us, on a monthly basis, we always drop something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think that's the way, right? Everyone's yeah. doing monthly. Yeah. But then you you yeah. guys are amazing because sometimes you guys drop more than one yeah. one time a month, you know. Yeah. yeah that's why yeah, just yeah, now yeah. I asked you like like next month you're dropping anything not for yeah, yeah. Day, <laughs> you know? so, yeah you yeah, had yeah. a busy July. You had a busy busy July. We did. We did. We did, we did, yeah. Yeah, talk, talk to us about this um, Olympic collection. Like, how did it all start? And because mm. that's that's, I mean, it's still Olympic season right yeah, now. Yeah, I mean, it's only an um, yeah. and obviously the the whole Oli- Olympic uh, committee debacle. Oh, yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> continues as well, right? Yeah. Yes, and then um, yeah. it's it's quite refreshing to like why these guys didn't just. Push this. I feel like this year from the very beginning, instead of doing that whole put pasar malam, uh, what do you call that? Yeah. that pasar malam. Could I Man- the mannequin? Oh my god, the mannequin was so bad shape. But uh, Kiran, Kiran, my one of my comedian friends called it like the when the when the jerseys got launched. He said like, I seen this design. It's like could I printing Alif? You know? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it really it's feels like, that it's way. It's like a stock design, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah so, so how, how did this actually come about, actually? Yeah, so I think in terms of this Olympics collection, it's a long time coming. We've been trying, uh, you know, to, to to work with them for quite some time. But uh, it, it somewhat really materialized uh, late last year. Um, you know, we I think a lot of the contacts 
fortunately, I think that's something that we're strong at. We've got a good network. Mm. Mm. Uh, mm. So it's always, you know, someone knows someone yeah, who yeah. knows someone. Yeah. And then we get that introduction and then we, but but at the same point of time, it's not us just going there and saying like, hey, we want a collaboration. Yep. We did up the entire deck. We did up all the styles. I mean, obviously there are reiterations to it, but yep. back then this is what we're thinking about because for a lot of these people, they cannot imagine yeah. Yeah, what yeah. it looks like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And number two, a lot of it boils down to numbers and cents. Mm, I mean, let's yeah. be honest. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It boils down to that. So you need to be able to show, hey, we are going to fund everything. Yeah. yeah. We're going to be doing all of this for you. This is what you're going to get on top of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And these are the type of like old projects that we've done and the type of PR value that we've gotten, the yeah. type of people who have rocked it. And, you know, so we support it with that. Okay. Yeah. And uh, we, got a, we got a meeting. Yeah. So that, but, but the funny thing is that even though we started talking or, or our first initial conversation was like late last year, we only actually met maybe in like February, March. Oh wow, wow. that's very close, bro. It was very, very so close. tight. So e- even, even yeah, you know, d- during that timeline, we were so like, shit, you know, is this gonna happen? Is it not? Um, but yeah, you know, fingers crossed. Wow, the fact fighting. that you guys pulled it out, yeah, and yeah, it was a the whole collection too. It's not that, just like yeah. yeah, that's right, yeah. Wow, okay. Like also like the other one that y'all did with the Saba. Sabah FC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sabah, Sabah that FC was one. a very good jersey, man. Thank you. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah. Yeah. I think a lot of like, yes. a lot of like my Sabahan friends, like mm. they were wearing it when I went to do The it. details on that is, was really is good. amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very, very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. that one is so like same, la, same, similar. Was, was it like... So so like that one me? was um, um, uh, Farish who was uh, handling like the marketing for, for Sabah. Um, yeah. they're the ones he, he approached this. Ah. So, you know, he said, hey, there's this opportunity <laughs> on the table. You know, what do you guys think? We vibed with him. He was a, like a super nice guy, and uh, you know, he, he told us the ideas, and we we're like, "Yeah, let's do it." So that one, we had a little bit more time because yeah. all the manufacturing that was actually done by Lotto. Oh, oh okay. wow! Yeah, so Lotto did can you, in can terms you pull it of up? Uh, that that jersey lah. Mm, uh, no, the but Sa- the lifestyle collection was Sawit. done by mm-hmm. us. Yeah, Sawit, yes. Yeah, it was thing a little bit. Before, uh, for the, 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 yeah, so that was that was really nice. I really liked that one. Yeah, yeah, that that was uh, yeah one of the projects last year that we we're extremely proud about. Uh. So uh, yeah, that I was. Think, I think that one. also opened up a lot of the more doors uh, in terms of that international space. Mm. So you know, through that, I think you know, like Jotty, right? This DJ. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, Jotty. So she she wore it at the. She, she didn't wear that. She but wore a lot of her friends, friends from from Netherlands. Yeah, they, they came. They bought that that jersey from. Wow. Her. Oh wow. It's also because of her. Yeah, this one. Yeah. Yeah. So this was. She jersey. she played Boiler Room, is it? She no. did. Yes, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Bossman is yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so the the, the what emboss deboss. Yeah. Deboss. Yeah. The deboss. I is, have one of these. Yes, I saw. This is very nice, man. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's good. It's very good. And then you got the players to like rock it and all. It's interesting. Super I, good. I'm yeah, just, yeah, yeah. I'm just hope, waiting for the... Because I follow one of these guys who goes around and interviews people like, what's your favorite jersey? Mm. One guy. And the other day... Chungano. They, yeah. I saw that. This yeah. guy said like, uh, Chungano FC second kid. And now I'm like, what? Yeah. <laughs> this one white guy from like, from UK. Yeah. Suddenly just said like, Chungano FC. <laughs> and yeah. you see all these comments like, oh, this Chungano. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, this this um jersey collecting thing is a huge yeah. thing. Yeah, 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 it is, it is. Yeah, yeah it's, it's uh, there, I think there's like, IG handles that are dedicated just yes, to yeah. random ass kids. They just post random kids every day. I think Tengganu punya is nice, is it? Because yeah, it is like, very nice, yeah. I remember um, one of our Thailand friends, because he collects jerseys as well, he specifically asked, hey, okay, is it possible for you to get the Tengganu jersey? Like, this is it after the video no, came no, out? No, it was like, just like last year. Oh, okay. Sometime last year, I think. So it was like, because oh, I don't know much about jerseys, and I'm like, okay, it's like this guy in Thailand is just asking for oh, a yeah, specifically. I, keep, I continue lah. I mean, I still, I still have all my jerseys, mm. but yeah. I can't fit anymore. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, so <laughs> time to go running lah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A pickle. Hey, fellas, pickle, pickle ball, yeah. brother. We, we got a fitness fella here. Later we we'll talk to him about it. We can uh. talk now, bro. This fella, he's going pickle ball. Okay, twi- I heard. Twice, I heard we were talking about twice this week, bro. Oh, okay, calm down, calm down. Wait, wait, twice. It's only Wednesday, bro. When when is the second time? I'm going Friday, bro. Friday was. 
He's also buying his own pedal. Yeah, soon I'm going to buy my pedal. <laughs> you going to buy? I'm going to buy. Yeah. Yo, wow, wow. Yeah, yeah, this yeah, yeah. is getting serious, my friend. And then if A6 is listening, I I need the gel resolution FF. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Shout out. Wow, look at you. Look at you milking this shit. Is, is that a Kochu or is it? It's, it's a Kochu, yeah. Yeah, it's got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it the one that uh, Novak Novak Djokovic wears? Yeah, yeah, that's the one I think so. Yeah, oh, yeah. wow. Mm. I can't be like Novak. Getting, se- getting serious, huh? Anyway, coming back to you. Uh. <laughs> so I, I gotta say the the one that you did the FNF jackets for the players as well. Oh yeah, yeah. That one is a good touch. That that's very street wear. You know, like oh, you guys can have this it's only for us. Mm. I think a, I think all the Sabahans went crazy about it. Mm. Um, no, that, that was yeah. The demand for that was actually really good because um, initially we were like, hmm, five hundred bucks. You know, are we will we be able to sell this? Yeah. You know, it's quite thick as well. Yeah, yeah. Not too sure if people wanted it, but uh, when we launched it, yeah. obviously it sold out. You know, straight away. Uh, the and very limited quantity, away. right? It was very limited. Mm. I think like hundred units. Yeah. And then after that, you know, we were getting bashed like, oh, why why didn't you release more? So you know, after I think it was maybe like two yeah. three weeks later on. Then uh, you know we spoke to Sabah FC. They said let's put out some more. Mm. So we put it on a pre-order, three and a half months waiting time. Oh my oh, god! Wow. I think we got something like another like three four hundred units. Nice. Uh, which we bought. I think this was like one of the. F- I mean, for me, based on like local local football, mm. like because I know like a lot of the Milan guys, like the even United, they always sometimes wear the jacket. <coughs> like, mm. you know? yeah. I think this one of the first time that local. I mean. Football league had yeah. something like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, and for them to see right, that, yeah. because it's always because yeah. a lot of the international scene, if you notice, they always will wear that when they get off the bus. They yes. all have that that kind yeah, of yeah, like off white. Yeah, off white did for which one was this? For, for who? Uh? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. And we always get to see this overseas, and then now, yeah, last year we saw this happening in our own turf, you know, our own yeah. ground. is is very cool, uh, So, um, nice. this is this is super good, uh. Any any plans for working with uh, JDT? Any plans for a second one? <laughs> <laughs> Don't even say JDT. This one, like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, obviously, we would love to. I think you know, through this project itself, we got to go and see them play. We got to know the players, so that relationship is built. Okay. Um, but at the end of the day, it really boils down to them, now, right? Whether they so, want to do another one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think garnered a lot of like. Uh, PR value as well, a lot of marketing, yeah. and then the fans also, you know. Also, East Malaysians are. They yeah. like to look good, yeah. lah. You know, oh, yeah. East Malaysians support very different. They, yeah. Yeah. That, people. That's what I realized. Yeah. yeah, it's very very different. I mean, I just I, we were talking about this last week, like uh, when Nigel went to uh, Sarawak. Sarawak. Mm. Yeah, next it's level, Crazy mm. man! Oh my god! Like they like some of them were waiting for him in the airport. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it's like <laughs> there were like three, one couple and like two other guys. They were like. At the airport, man. Like wow. somehow they knew like yeah. he was coming. You know, it's yeah. Like, they check his flight and all. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but what about social media these days? Like, um, you know, coming back to this whole fifteen years thing, right? Yep. The landscape is so different now. <laughs> Very yeah. Uh, right. Um, like what? Can can you in your this past like fifteen years of running the brand? Can you just like? Tell us the how different the landscape is and also the current challenges of of today. Hmm. Okay. Challenges. Challenges. Uh. I I think first up, good and bad, right? I think whenever there is a challenge, is always like opportunity as well. Uh. To reinvent ourselves and try new things. So I think one the first thing would be in terms of the landscape. Obviously, a lot more brands. Hmm. Mm. I think the problem with Malaysia is that we're a small nation. Yeah. Yeah. Too small. Yeah. So for us, I think that's one of the big challenges uh, is that you know how do we expand, and and that's what I'm constantly you know speaking to the partners about, or even you know always brainstorming as well, trying to look at ways of how can we you know expand the business bigger than what it is. Um. So yeah, we've spoken about a lot of things. I think at the same point in time, when it comes to you know PMC, um, good and bad again. The way that we have really set ourselves apart compared to other brands out there is that we're all about Malaysian identity. Yeah. Uh, so we are like the go-to, like number one when it comes to anyone who wants to promote that. Mm. Yeah. Straight away, we're top of mind, lah. So, yep. so that's good. But at yeah. the same point of time, we we somewhat kind of limit ourselves. I feel uh, at this current stage of like, hey, if we want to sell in Singapore, yeah. If we want to, you know, start selling in Indonesia. Yeah, like, like even regional, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so even for us, I mean, we're we're conscious about that, and and I think that's one of the reasons why we're also trying to, you know, do 
I think that DNA, we, we never want to lose that because that's why we started. That's what sets us apart. Yep, yep, that's yep. always going to be at the core. Uh, but end of the day, the way of, you know, uh, whether it be the products, how they look, uh, that that needs to evolve. Mm. Yeah. So so say, for example, like maybe, you know, within the 12 months of the calendar, we obviously are going to go big for like Malaysia Day, Madeka month, because that is who we are. Mm. But, you know, throughout the other, you know, 10 months, we can always be doing a lot of other things. And that's why we do a lot of like other collaborations to yeah. to, to try to, you know, break past this, uh, you know, Malaysia itself. Uh. Yeah. 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 yeah, because I noticed you guys also do like, I mean, like the, the word diversifying because you all work with like, what, uh, what, what I, can't, I can't pronounce it. Casefy. Casefy, yeah. Casefy yeah. <laughs> and other brands oh, and okay, other things. I sometimes cannot pronounce. Like, I'm using like Casefy, PMC, yeah. PMC, PMC uh, yeah. phone case, by the way. Yeah, so like, uh, how does that actually help the brand? I mean, because I know end of the day, you all sell clothes. Yeah. But now it's gone to other things as well because you've done other stuff like, you know, yeah. you know how, how does that come in play? Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, end of the day, even though I think we tell a lot of people that even though, yes, we do sell clothes, but how we want to depict ourselves is that we sell a lifestyle. Uh. Yeah. Mm, yeah. So it's, it's you know, selling the lifestyle of PMC, what it embodies, you know, the kind of things that we like to do, whether it be the music, whether it be events, whether it be sports, whatnot. Okay. So, you know, we don't want to limit ourselves to only clothing alone. And uh, I think through these type of collaborations that we did, say, for example, like Casefy, I mean, they've got a big network. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, compared, compared our firepower compared to theirs. Yeah. You know, they, they come in, they have that reach, they have a network of, just say, for example, like KOLs, like this Casefy collab itself, I think we sent out something like 150 KOL boxes. Wow. Whoa. Yeah. And this is not only, Malaysia's only a small chunk. So a big chunk of it went to it went to uh, a lot of it Southeast Asia, some of it like a lot in Philippines, Indonesia, Boom. Uh, and and that helps us though, right? Because mm. you know at least then we were able to to somewhat get our brand name out there. Yep. Yeah. So that's one of the reasons when they approached us, we kind of said, yeah, you know, I oh, think they approached you guys. Yeah. yeah wow. Yeah. And and we also like uh, you know what they do and yeah. what they're all about. Uh, so we kind of said, yeah. Okay. Uh, but we only sell it through them because I think when it comes to these type of like technology things, everyone's changing their phones so often. Right? Yeah. Yeah. We don't want to hold on to the stock. Correct. Yeah. So, <laughs> so you know, we direct people there. We do the marketing for it. We obviously did all the design. Mm. Uh, we did the event. and uh, But all sales, it's yeah. uh, through their website. And, and they're smart. Because they're collecting all this data, man. Yeah. yeah. They're using like, you know, brands like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, we've yeah. got communities and whatnot. And it's not only us, but all these other guys. Because they have collaborated with a lot of people. A lot, like, yeah. So yeah, 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 they're yeah. collecting data. Yeah. Yeah. Smart or very smart. Yeah. So well, me if I'm wrong, I think the f- only time you guys have actually done an actual pestle and mortar was in Chinatown Market, was it? That's right. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, I actually bought that. I yeah, it's, like, it's I, in my office. Yeah, yeah. I, bought that, I bought the pestle and mortar just because I was like... It's, this is about time. It's about time you guys actually made a pestle and mortar. Yeah. So why did it take that long? I think more than 10 years, probably. It was like uh, two years ago. Uh. It was like 20, uh, it was still, it was fresh off COVID. I think about 2020, yeah. 2021. Chinatown. I think it was before COVID. Hey, before, like, before, before COVID. COVID. Before, yeah. yeah. It's before COVID. Really? No, because I thought, I think I had my YouTube already at that point. Really? Could be, could be. Double, mm. double, uh, yeah. Victor, 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 check. Uh, Victor can check. And because, like, 2020. Yes. There we go. Because oh, I had my YouTube at that point. Oh, okay. Because I, I did the review on YouTube. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, I remember you did. Yep. Yeah, so... Oh, so people selling it on, on carousel. <laughs> 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 yeah, so uh, in terms of an actual pestle and motor, I don't know, man. I mean, we kind of we kind of asked ourselves before, like, you know, should we do one? <laughs> but we're yeah. just kind of like, you know, looking for the right time where people buy... I think when the opportunity came about to work together with market, yeah, um, it kind of made sense, lah, right? Because they all, they, you know, they make all these funky, yeah, different like memorabilia type yeah, yeah. products. So we kind of thought, okay, you know, maybe this would be a good opportunity. I think the smiley face is also very universal; mm. yeah. it applies to anyone compared to it just being a pastel model with our logo on top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah so I, I think it was a finding the right time. Mm. But maybe, yeah, you never know, man. 15 year anniversary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A, a real actual yeah, burat one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then you, you all had a store in Bangsa also, right? We did, yeah, Talawi. Talawi. Next to the McDonald's. Few yeah. doors. Yeah. Opposite. Yeah, when, opposite. When we first moved in. <laughs> I was wondering, like, 
What? Oh, Alfie worked there. Yes. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. That's yeah. Really like, because I was like, did they have? I'm like, yeah, I remember. Yes, correct. We had so many parties there, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gosh. That's where I met that, that two Australian interns as well. Oh, wow. <laughs> then got lion dance also at the store. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah oh. good times, man. Talawi was cool. You know, when we first opened up the store, Juice was there. Oh, um, my God. Yeah, Juice. Juice. And, and yeah. Clue Magazine, remember? Yeah, yeah, of course, Clue Magazine. You guys were featured in Clue as yeah, well, I remember, yeah. Um, there was quite a lot of stores, actually. A lot, where yeah. Where EPW yeah. was as well, um, what's this, uh, Asu as well had a store. Yeah, I can't remember what that. Store. I can't remember what it was. But they were selling sub crew and, and... Correct. Yeah, they were and selling... And then they also, then after that, they moved upstairs on, on Talawi too as well. So, you know, it's, it's it's crazy in terms of like Bangsa. I just went there. I haven't gone there in a long time because parking is a real... Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. It's bad shape. Yeah, bad, bad shape. shape uh, right yeah. next to your store, technically, Bangsa? Sorry? Wait, like, no, that, that's a different part of Bangsa. Oh, it's a different yeah. part of Bangsa. That's the fish part of Bangsa. Oh. All, all the fish. Kurao la, this fish la, that fish. All. Mm. Oh, it's all fish name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. So even like SS15, actually our first store was SS15. Yeah. So no, we were... The, the home of streetwear. Yeah, man. <laughs> it's full circle, you know? Yeah. Full circle. It was cool to see. SS15? Yeah, that's why I wonder. How can I don't know? Oh, well, come on. Yeah, we were nerd unit at that point in time. They moved in after us, and uh, Elvin Goldfish had his uh, studio. Where was this? Yeah, there you go. We were opposite. What's the the big food court? Uh, uh, Asia Cafe. Asia Cafe. Asia Cafe. That's yeah, you, right. You guys were near uh, Cap City, right? Was it? Yeah, Cap City. Yeah, same time around Cap City as well. Yeah, we were a couple of uh, doors down. So yeah. This was uh, uh <laughs> Come on, bro. Subang, bro. Subang all the way, man. Subang. Subang and and you guys like moved out of Subang. But you you were, you were just now mentioning that there's a lot of local brands right now. It's quite mm. saturated as well. Where do you see Pastor Mota in this whole landscape. scene, yeah. landscape now? Like, what, what is the USP now? Where do you guys fit in? Or is it, you know, it's like, where do you think you're located in the whole thing? I'm pretty sure you had this conversation with your team, right? Like, yeah. mm, okay, there's, there's all these brands. Where yeah. are so we? Where are we? What mm. are we? Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, we kind of know what sets us apart, like I what I mentioned. Um, I, I think, you know, a lot of times we, you know, we do the SWOT analysis, like maybe like SWOT on a analysis. yearly basis, <laughs> la, right? At yes. <laughs> Yeah, always, yeah. always, always tend to, to look at that, right? Yeah. Like, you know, what are our strengths, right? So I, I think I think one of the things is definitely, obviously, the years behind this. Uh, I think something else that really sets us apart is obviously, you know, like the DNA, which I spoke about. I think thirdly would be our portfolio. Mm. Uh, portfolio of brands, that really gives us leverage. But a lot more other people are also, you know, building that. Yeah. So for us, it's like constantly, how do we like continue to build this moat around the brand, right? Mm. Yeah, mm. yeah. Um. I think something that we bring to the table, which is also very different, is structure. Mm. Uh, the way that uh, we present ourselves, you know, when we... Um, I, and, it, and that comes from experience. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. You know, we've, we've screwed up many times. We've learned from those mistakes. And, uh, you know, we're, 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 like, a lot more prepared. So, like I was saying, like, whether it, we go in for, like, be it, like, a partnership that we want to do, maybe it's a pitch or whatnot, like, we prepare ahead of time. Uh, you know, we make sure that we mm. have our stuff all in order yeah. before we go in there. So, but I think for, you know, for us, we always say like, okay, what's five years going to look like? Uh, I think definitely for us, Pestle and Motor and for the founders itself, we want to be a legacy brand. Okay. And I think a lot of times as brands, there's always going to be ups and downs. Yeah. yeah. Of course. And the idea here is who can sustain when it's down. Yeah. So, so for us over the 15 years, yeah, many times where we kind of thought like, shit, you know, should we still be doing this? Yeah. yeah. Uh, should we look at, a, at an exit? Uh, should we diversify? And, you know, a lot of times I think that's what we've kind of been doing, right? We tried major drop, we moved into a distribution thing. Um, but I think that energy is important and to keep ourselves motivated. Yeah. Mm. So, so for me right now, like obviously kind of like starting new brands, uh, you know, trying different things. There's also like that corporate side of things, which I also enjoy. And that's yeah. why, you know, we're doing a lot of that as well. Um, so, yeah. But um, I think, you know, five years, maybe five, ten years, what we want to be is not only limited to yeah. just clothing, clothing itself. Yeah. Because I think you're good. Like PMC is like one of the only brands that I know, local brands, that actually has a big portfolio of commercial, working with commercial brands. Mm. Yeah. So we're talking about like KFC, even like this the the football stuff. Yeah. Mm. Compared to other local brands, because I think a lot of local brands here, they are known in their circle yeah. and they have their own fans, mm. but there's no there's no progression. Yeah. 
sometimes i mean like of course they are now coming there i think remember like i think against did something with tiger beer yeah and like you know tnt tnt is been doing quite a bit that. Yeah. but like you guys were like the first to like was it like a conscious decision to do the whole like no yeah, yeah. to go that that route because like because that really sets you guys apart because yeah. everyone can start a brand sure because then they have their own fans everyone just buy the moment you release like 200 t-shirts it sells out mm. then okay what else yeah. <coughs> like was it a conscious decision yeah. you all took uh, no no it was not it wasn't like you know let's 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 try to explore this space uh but i think what somewhat kick started it all was our royal slango collab mm so that was about 2019 as well we did a collaboration with royal slango that got featured on like you know all these other kind of more businessy type yeah, 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 publications okay. and what not be it the age and uh you know all, all that kind of stuff and i think from there but it was also uh there was also a movement happening in the west and i think you know being in malaysia or southeast asia itself yeah. uh, we we tend to still follow yeah. uh, you know mm. in terms of trends and and what's happening in the west yeah, yeah. Uh, we're a couple of years behind yeah. so a lot of that was happening already in the west uh, i think brands saw that that was an opportunity to be able to you know work together with brands like us okay yeah. and uh, when once they actually saw that whole like royal slango thing they were, it I, i guess it helped them imagine what it could be like because royal slango is also it's a legacy different, it's yeah, a but, legacy brand yeah but it's also two completely very yeah. different <laughs> yeah, yeah. So a lot yeah. of people when we yeah. announced that they were like how the hell What? is this going to work can you pull yeah, it up Because how did that happen how did it come about so i went to uh, again network yeah <laughs> i went to uh, the visitor center to listen to a talk yeah. and it was like the fourth generation um, who was running it the md and as he was talk- telling all these things all these keywords came to me storytelling heritage legacy and i was like you know what i'm just going to try and just go reach out to him so after it i was like hey you know yunli um this is I'm, a very good collection bro i'm yeah. like so and so and you know this is what you know is there have you heard of us and yeah. <laughs> and fortunately he actually had ah so he was open to the idea i said you know give me a week i'll come back with something was there anything pewter uh, related also okay so the the shirt itself was actually really expensive it was like yeah. 599 all the buttons are pewter Okay. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. okay. There, we go. Uh, there we go. On the t-shirt, like that a pocket, so good, there's also like a like a pewter emblem. So all the other items, the yeah. t-shirts and all that, had like a pewter element to it. Oh, timing tak ngam lah. I think that come out now. Everyone be talking about it in that, in that mm. way, in the media way, because now everyone is more in tune with what every the production side of things, right? Mm. So I think right now, if one time for two point oh, is that way? Kita buat butang the pewter, though. Everyone would have heard about it. No, you do a pewter pestle murder. Bapa, berat bodoh. No, trust me. If you have like like one of those feng shui elements to it, yeah. Yeah. You, that's why you target businessmen, uh, man. One, They will buy it. One thing I want to ask is like uh, you've had a lot of collaborations, right? Sure. Collab, collab, a lot of things. You've Kistify, uh, Space Jam, uh, KFC. I remember KFC. KFC, KFC yeah, yeah. Uh, but have you? I can't remember. Probably you have because you've done a lot of collaborations and all that. But have you ever collaborate with another clothing brand? Yeah. So say for example like Chinatown Market Oh yeah the Chinatown hundreds. Market is going Oh yeah and Oh yeah and like X large yeah X large Anything local mm-hmm. Local brands we have before we we did something during COVID with like Shells Oh okay um, Oh we I mean we did something like last year for the union that was like a smaller thing so yeah. that was we had uh, Oh yeah you guys had that was a uh, OPT was part of that yeah, as well Yeah OPT right? we had Stone and Co That was a uh, the you guys had a pop up at uh, Tropicana. Tropicana. That's right. Yeah. yeah, we had something there. That was fine. Was But uh, yeah, end end of the year this this year this this would be good. Like uh, I think it also kind of ties back to like our vision of what we want to be. Like mm. you know more Southeast Asia and, mm. and, and whatnot. So you know Ageless, right? Ageless Galaxy yeah. from Jakarta. So so we've yeah. done something with them from from Jakarta. And this was like I think many years back. So we've been keeping in touch with like Tamish, Tamish. and all that. And, <laughs> and even through our distribution arm back then, Major Drop, we used to carry this Filipino brand called DBTK. Okay. Oh, uh, don't blame the kids, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So end of the year, it's we're doing a three-way thing. It's going to be a oh nice. Three oh, parties wow. oh in nice. Each is, it, city is this an exclusive uh, info right now? Yeah. Oh wow! It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you heard it here first on the pod. <laughs> yeah, don't don't click B. <laughs> no, because yeah. the, no, 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 no. the the don't blame the kids. The DBTK guys, uh, like some of the Filipino comics that I know, yeah. I think they are friends with them, and then they've worn their clothes mm. for their shows. Because mm. I saw some of, because some of the comics now they are like slowly getting into the whole streetwear, yeah, 
look and feel and then sometimes they'll message me like hey where you got your pants from you know uh, yeah. mm. so like so i saw one of them wearing like a, a, a jacket or a t-shirt from them and i'm like hey who's this guy is that he said go I mean, check them out I mean, yeah these guys are big yeah uh, big man the philippines big. huge yeah yeah so yeah so going to be fun i think that's uh, mm. you know really sort of uh, in, in line as well with uh, you know yeah this is for next year or like no, end of this year end of this year oh nice okay uh so next year is your 15th anniversary yep what's coming can can uh, um, review we want to do a shoe collab lah for sure okay Woo. nice so you, you i think that's a long time nice. coming we've been we've been talking about that so you know any f- brands you're talking to now? F- fingers crossed at the moment i, I don't want to mention this case it doesn't happen but uh yeah okay uh, nice that's something in the works fire Um, you know, initially we thought and I thought like, oh, 15 years we should do 15 collaborations, but or 15 wow. or 15 drops. <laughs> wow! You know, I said 15 drops, <laughs> okay? Your team must be like <laughs> more than one a month. What's that's that's, that's like what like, like uh, yeah, that's 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 what one of them said. So we're the, like, okay, ca- you know the what? The Cap City they launched how many caps at one go? Do you remember? 10 caps, uh, 10 uh, caps. The, the, 10k one. The one inside that box. Oh yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, 10k. That I, one. I that one. The, the, the 15 drops is. <laughs> yeah, I think the only ones. If like, you do 15 drops, your team will be like, yeah, the man. only ones that been doing it that crazy is probably you and Cap City. I feel it's like the ones that do more than one drop a month. Mm. I feel like Cap City does like two or three drops a month, in on average, you know. It's but like, but I think that's something that uh, I mean, even though I said that, you know, we do want to kind of reduce that lah. Because at the moment, yes, it is. Uh, night, it, yeah, it is very very night, tiring, man. very very tiring. So you plan like what's the sweet spot here? Once a month. I, th- I think at least still once a month, but not everything needs to be you know super crazy big. Yeah. Mm. Uh, you, you at least you know for the big ones we want at least like once a quarter. Okay. Mm. You know something like the Olympics type thing, so that yeah. kind of scale uh, like once a month, and then you know in between that, I think me and Hans we were just talking mm. the other day as well. Like he was asking me, uh, in terms of like our own product. Um. So yeah, I think definitely. What was the question? Uh, mm. again, the, the thing was I said is like you guys actually what collab we're going to not much like focus it like PMC mm. punya barang lah. Oh okay, the like, inline stuff. Yeah, because people like got got to know it's like you guys make quality stuff too. I think when you first launch your shop, you had like the kind of like the puffer, not the puffer, it's like mm. the really the puff green green oh. logo yeah, that's yeah, still there, yeah, and it's yeah, so yeah. good. I yeah. think yeah. everyone who went there was like, oh, I didn't know PMC was making stuff like this, you know. Mm. So it's like I feel like. Whenever people think of PMC, yep. they always think of your collaborations, which is a good thing. You guys have made a lot, mm. but you guys, your inline stuff, your your home stuff is actually really good too. Like yep. you had that one collection with the f- cat, yang pakai the fez and all that. That's oh, yeah. PMC, PMC, right? That's yes, not a collaboration. Is, yeah. Yeah, 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 so yeah. it's like I was just telling telling him, it's like, hey, maybe you should like focus more on like PMC, PMC stuff lah, just mm-hmm. to show everyone what's up because you guys, uh, you guys actually have good inline stuff too. You know. I, Instead of the the collapse, what collapse? Open night, though. Tengok mula open night, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I think I think definitely. I mean, we we are well aware of that, and and that's something you know that we're obviously trying to build uh, more of at least of the core products, lah, right? Because again, yeah, you're right to say that yeah, collaborations obviously can get very um, num- number one. You're also limited with you know what you can do. Mm. Obviously, you know there are other parties involved and whatnot. But I think you know within our own products, it's always like a showcase of what we are capable of and, yeah. and you know the kind of products that we want to put out so definitely next year as well that's something currently right now it's a we've got a quieter month within august so we're trying to play catch up on that front um so yeah how did you guys like the conscious decision from going pesto mota closing to just pmc was that like conscious decision or it was <laughs> it was it was um i can't remember what year this was i think 2018 or so or 2019 um I think it's just when when it comes to being a name where a lot of people couldn't pronounce it. Ah. Oh, okay. Uh, that was a big one. We'll get pestle. We'll get mortal. <laughs> we'll get like. Do do pester. people in Malaysia actually know what pestle and mortal? Like majority of them, do they? Pestle. Know, do do they know like what pestle and mortal is? I they know the what benefit of doubt I think I, I think they do, do lah but you need to a lot of times I do this lah yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you have to show them that we, we, we don't need to know what you do in your private time <laughs> <laughs> well, that's clever pri- <laughs> private time is happy time bro <laughs> oh, no. but, but yeah you have to show lah then yeah. then they like ah oh, okay pesto okay, mota okay. apa tu but the lesung oh, lah lesung oh, dia yeah. buat sambal lu ah mm. oh like that lah yeah, yeah, yeah. i have to i normally have to say so ah. like, uh, you know to make sambal to make spices things like that okay 
So the the PMC uh, rebranding happened around when? Yeah, so I, I if I'm not mistaken, it was around like that 2018, 2019 time uh, timeline. And uh, yeah, that was a conscious decision where yeah. we wanted you know to be. Uh, I think a lot of people, even even though we're calling ourselves like you know Pestle and Moda, <laughs> some people will call this like. Um, so, What would it, some people will say like a lot of people like to say pestle and mota, ah. or like or some would say pestle mota. Ah. So so we just wanted to kind of like streamline it, you know. To and I think PMC itself yeah. you know, rolls off the tongue a lot mm. easier. Yeah. It's just like easy, you know, straight yeah. away. Uh, but that being said, we're obviously still very proud of our name, and that's yeah. why you know in terms of the website, we and it's obviously obviously we couldn't get pmc.com. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, you know, we've maintained at least that pastel mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah, that's yeah. a good story. Okay. Uh, but yeah, you know, when we refer back to the brand, a lot of times we tend to just say PMC. Right. We, thinking back your past like 14 years, right? What is like the m- most challenging moment? Oh. I mean, there's many lah, yeah. right? Running a clothing brand is not easy. Yeah. And like, yeah, but what what can you like? Just thinking about, could it be like COVID season or like? Before that, or yeah, actually, how was COVID, bro, for PMC? We were very lucky, you know. I think, um, and something that I'm damn proud of as well, and the rest of like the management team, nobody got a pay cut, mm. nobody Oof. got got let off. Oh, nice! Throughout, throughout the entire time. Wow! And I wow. still remind my team, you know, about that lah, right? <laughs> Sometimes they, uh, during that whole period of time, but we the first year was good. I think everyone was like, "Oh, this is getting a little bit exciting," you know, mm. at home and you know, online, and and we were really lucky because uh, even before that, we were already talking like, "What happens if we shut all our stores tomorrow? What would that online space look like?" We were already talking about that, like mm. you know, one year into COVID, and we were actively building the site. So when this happened, you know, fortunately, we already had you know people who 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 were shopping online, and you know, we had that that flow. Uh, so a lot of I think sales wise, we still managed to maintain. Mm. But the second year, what really hit us was supply chain. Okay. Oh, so okay. a lot of stock, we couldn't get enough stock because a lot of stuff was done in China. Yeah. And obviously, when China went under lockdown, yeah. we were paying you know logistics out of our ass, something like five six x <sighs> what we normally pay. Jeez. Just to get things in, Damn. we had some client work as well. Um, so yeah, I think I think that that was the challenging part of uh, of of during COVID. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, but other times, um, from a business standpoint, I mean, I guess there's two lah, right? Like from a personal standpoint, I think it it is you know as I'm I'm really approaching 40, man. Okay. I, I'm 39, so January I turn 40. Oh well, damn! Okay. Yeah, so I think a lot of it as well is you know when I look back at it. So I think to myself like, oh shit, um, you know, I'm I'm 40 years old. I'm still doing this, but the, uh, there's a big part of it as well, which you know, I I really enjoy it. Mm. But that was the dream, right? That yeah, that was the 15 dream. years ago. Like to do this until we grow old, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but I'm not gonna lie, it's tiring. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. Because, and and that's the thing. So 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 for me, like a lot of the focus is now like you know really making sure that we can build this team. Uh, that you know it can kind of like run on its own. You know I yeah. can step in when I want to. I can step out when I want. Basically, to. it's just automated already, lah. Yeah. Yeah. You know. So yeah. so that that is like my main agenda, and that's what I'm kind of like focusing on, making sure that we get structure in place, and you know we we have that machine already built and it's moving on its own. Uh, but a lot of it still depends on me, and okay. which which I think it's fine, but to a certain extent, right? I think. And the day that there, there needs to be sort of like a t- timeline where I kind of pass that baton on, so a lot of it, like I think the team itself, they're getting a lot more involved, uh, you know, making a lot more sort of like calls on the decisions and a lot of the major stuff as well, um, and I just get updates lah on that on that front, mm. uh, and then I somewhat look at just more of like the overall sort of organization, not like PMC per se, mm. because like right now, you know, like you're mentioning, I've got like another brand right now, and we've got a couple of other things. So that requires a lot of focus, and um, so I'd say, yeah, you know, finding finding the time, balancing family and work. Back then, I think it was, and and even even like right now, this is my big issue. Like I just think about work twenty four seven. That's all. It's yeah. like you know, I come home from work, I jump on my computer, and mm. the wife complains about it. So you know, I am I'm conscious about it. Yeah, and that's something that I'm really trying to. Would you say that's one of the biggest challenge to actually like let go, like you say, pass the baton? Oh yeah, definitely. 
I mm. think at the same point of time, you know, you have obviously built this, uh, but I've come to terms with it. Like, you know, I don't know everything. I think what got us here is not what's going to get us there. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So I think a lot of it is really sort of entrusting others and, and kind of building you know, yeah. uh, talent within the company. Basically, like you've you've got a teenager now in your hands. Oh. You got, <laughs> yeah. Form, form yeah, two, bro. You know? Form two, though. Yeah. Form 14. I think next year. Next year, form, form three, bro. Oh. By, the time, by the time it reaches 18, you're mm. like, in your head, I'm like, okay, I think you're. You can yeah, that, that's a yeah, that's a cool way. Yeah, you can yeah. you can you can do things on your own, right? Yeah, yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um I think as a brand, you know, from like challenges, it would be hmm. I think staying relevant. Yeah. I think that's a that's a big one. That's a difficult one. <coughs> um a lot more creative people in the space. Mm. Mm. Um so we have to play to our strengths. Mm. And uh, I think like the number one thing is really talent. I think so. I think at the same time it's also perspective, right? When you say staying relevant, mm. it's like okay, you still sell like what two, three hundred t-shirts, four hundred t-shirts, five hundred t-shirts a month. Yeah, let's just say right, but you're like not the hottest brand around. But does that does that mean you're not relevant? You you get what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah. Right. Like you still have this community that supports you, the yeah. fans that buy your t-shirts. But just because you're you're not like doing KL Fashion Week, you're like not the hottest, yeah. the likes are not crazy, you know, like there's yeah. not like five thousand likes on your posts and all that kind of yeah. stuff. Like, is that is that not relevant? So but but that's not how I'm judging yeah. it, you know. Right. So yeah, so, so like that, so that's why I'm like trying to like really yeah. dig into yeah. to what, what you mean by relevant here. Like what, yeah. what do you mean? I, I think I think at the end of the day, right? It's obviously we're running a business now. It's not a hobby anymore. Yeah, uh, yeah. definitely, lah. Like, fifteen years, yeah, no yeah. joke. Yeah. <laughs> How many people you have, like under your your whole whole team? So we got under the PMC side sixteen. Damn, it's a lot, bro. Actually, it's a lot. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, we used to have actually more. We used to have like twenty four. <laughs> <laughs> I think about twenty four people. Yeah, when we had a major drop, lah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, so that has uh, is reduced. And um, you know, I think I think at the end of the day, obviously we're running a business. Uh, a lot of decisions need to be made. I mean, cool does not pay, pay the bills, lah. Yeah, yeah. Um, so a lot of that, when I when I, I guess when I speak about you know being relevant, it really kind of boils down to the numbers game. At the same point in time, like obviously, don't get me wrong, it's not only about the numbers because <coughs> I think it's also about the branding, the, the branding association. So at the moment, I think that's something that we still have. Like you know, a lot of the when we when we reach out to people, we've managed to we've built that that brand really that people yeah. kind of know. Mm. So we have that, and a lot of times it's maintaining that. Yeah. Mm. Maybe if anything is all about kind of like maintaining that. How do we the know, balance between yeah. cool and money? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What are your thoughts on a uh, Cal Fashion Week? Because that just happened recently. Is that something you guys would be <coughs> interested in doing? Um, I think I mean we've we've actually participated in one KL Fashion Week. Oh, you have? Yeah, this was 2019 actually. 2019, oh, wow. okay. Yeah, so so that was actually like really fun. I think the team had fun putting that together. Uh, I went for one show this year. Yeah. So it was um, Shells and TTFGA show. Tech. Tech. Yeah. yeah. Tech loungewear. That yeah. was Saturday. Uh, I think it was Friday. 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 Yeah, it was Friday evening. Um, I think KL Fashion Week, I think the main thing here is obviously comparable to, uh, if you compare it to a lot of other things, you know, there's a lot of things that we we'll probably say that we can probably do better. <laughs> but yeah. again, they're the ones who are doing it. They're the ones that, yeah. who is at least providing that platform for, for people to showcase their okay. stuff. So I guess respect to, you know, Andrew for that, uh, for, for, for building that and at least, you know, having this platform because I think that's, this is what kind of really lacks here in Malaysia is, yeah, this platform. A lot of people, I mean, you look at our badminton, I think we're talking about, yeah. you know, badminton is now, you guys were talking about yeah. it as well. We have all this talent, <laughs> but just don't have the right platforms. Yeah, to, yeah bro. To, for, for people to really shine, right? So, I think, you know, will we do it? Yeah, yeah, I think we will, uh, you know, when time's right, when we have like the right collection, I think, I think it's great because all that, like the investment cost to put something, yeah. I, and I, we know it because we did like a fashion show last yeah. year and it's so expensive and yeah. we were like, shit. That, you know, that one was crazy, bro, because you had like concert as well. Yeah. Like people performing it, at thing as well. That was the one at Tropicana Gardens. Right? Yeah, 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 that was the one. So, you know, we, we know like, you know, how much it can cost and obviously once you have that platform, um, you know, that you can somewhat build on, I think uh, that's a great opportunity. La. 
So, yeah. As we are we are a streetwear podcast. We have been talking about streetwear, <laughs> but what are we wearing today, guys? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Correct, correct, correct. We need to go to that. Oh yeah, yeah. What are you uh, wearing, bro? A PKL cap. Yeah, this is new, right? The new one. Uh, they are baju. Uh, big sponsors you show. What? <laughs> <laughs> they, they sponsor us, us a lot, baju, ah. Uh, then uh, it's H and M. Then uh, again, slap. Against by Finn. Against by Finn and the two one six zero Paris. That's yeah, this is nice. Yeah, it's nice. This is nice. Okay, yeah. I'm wearing a uh, full count Japan cap. This is a uh, Stussy t-shirt. Oh, I miss you. I like a Stussy t-shirt. Stussy t-shirt. Stussy t-shirt. Well, just side note. Yeah. I visited the Stussy store recently. Oh. Bro, I do not know. I used to work in the Stussy store, okay? Yeah. I have never seen it like that. La. It's so packed. Serious? Ah? It's so packed. Don't even have underwear to buy, bro. Wow. I want to buy Stussy underwear. They said no stock. Wow. It's crazy. It's full of Chinese stories inside there. Serious? Ah? Yeah, they're just going in like, okay, what you got? What you got? Like, they're just buying. I don't know. The hype for Stussy is That's crazy right now. I think they're, they're going to correct that because our ringgit drop some more right mm. so yeah they're going to correct that i think retail price might go a bit higher mm. anyways yeah uniqlo uh, pants and then uh, dem daniel vans <laughs> that's unique <laughs> that's a unique option today yeah, whoever remember dem oh daniel <laughs> what dem daniel ah got us a white don't know your google okay Ah, uh, it's just showing our age, lah. Uh. The point, the guy, you know, when sponsored the whole school, yes, right? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, man. Yeah, they sponsored the whole school. Oh. Damn. So when I when I saw this in in the shops, like, oh man, I gotta get what white pair, lah. <laughs> just get one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, topi. Okay, <laughs> please. Pick. Pick also. Pick. <laughs> For the ticks, huh? Uh, this is legit. Uh, something that cause I'm I'm, I'm a bit brown and grey today, so. Baju brand aku never more sure. Woo! Meow, uh, meow, meow, I'm meow. not sure when this is gonna come out, but this podcast is gonna come out. But I feel like see we have a few episodes backed up. This might come out during the time where this will be launching. When? So, when? Just say the date. I don't. End of the, the month. Date. Yeah. So either end of the month or very early next month. <coughs> Around there. Soon, man. Yeah. So Congrats. I am stressed out, but yeah, we we do what we have to do. Uh, ni t- shout out to Brian punya daughter punya birthday party Oi. we got this I got ma- my boy there has a matching one Kakash has a matching one as well yeah? which one ah? this one? Oh yeah yeah we yeah, got it at Brian's we got uh, oh, that's cool, kids, uh, kids <coughs> birthday party the other day I'm wearing Kahat jeans that I can finally fit I couldn't fit last time bought yeah. them and I couldn't fit them but look at your boy yeah. and, uh, wow Muay Thai working eh? something brown just because I wanted to I ooh hype beast the real hype beast has uh, <laughs> look how beat up they are I, I can't baru even la flex baru la flex or flex out of this as a, as a flex like ah oh, man it's just like a 10k shoe I'm just beating it up you know like <laughs> oh normal ni lah bro get it for 10k lah that's the best part lah so. oh okay 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 my brother uh, Hugh yeah, yeah what are you wearing um atlas hat yeah we need to talk about yeah, that also yeah we'll come to that okay okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, I got a PMC T on and okay. uh, some Atlas shorts Atlas shorts oh nice okay is that new like is it launching soon or what already uh, launched yeah it's a desert pack oh okay okay okay, okay, okay. Like, uh, it's a it's a Dubai release happening next month okay Dubai yeah. and you're wearing some hokers oh yeah, yeah, yeah I got the uh, Clifton LS yeah you stuff. recently did a project with, with Hoka right mm. yeah tell us about that like no, that was cool, man. Uh, what what is that all about? Uh, yeah, th- this is like uh, obviously I've been running for quite a while, uh, yeah. but I think <laughs> the, the whole way. the whole running scene at the moment has. I think you already went through really, like how many cycles <laughs> of running, <laughs> has really sort of blown up, lah. So yeah. uh, I think at the end of the day, obviously, you know, I like documenting what I do and and whatnot. So I got a I got a text one day saying, hey, you know, I'm 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 so and so from Hoka, um, you know, would you like some product? I was like, okay, yeah, 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 come check it out. I mean, I wasn't even sure, you know, if I, in, in terms of whether they were seeding me or or maybe it was discount or something. <laughs> so I, I rocked up to the store and I walked away with like, you know, two, three pairs of shoes. Ooh. So that was cool. And uh, I think ever since then, we've been keeping in touch. And yeah, Tim, it's actually Tim, Tim from Hoka. Tim was like, hey, you know, we've got this project. It's a city series. Uh, it's happening in Singapore, Bangkok. Uh, we want someone to do something for KL. So, you know, are you keen? I was like, oh shit, yeah, 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 that'll be amazing. 
So yeah, we designed the T-shirt or I designed the T-shirt together with Jack, and um, yeah, we shot the campaign for it, which is amazing. Yep. Uh, That's like a full-on production it, house it and all, on, right? Yeah, it was a full-on production as well. And the, the best bit about it was that they really just let me do what I want to do. Mm. Oh wow! Okay. So obviously we, you know, we had like the mood board, and I told them the idea and whatnot, and they kind of gave me a little bit of the hoka guidelines. But besides that, it was really like free reign. So hire, basically, you all released a t-shirt, lah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So we released the t-shirt, and then that sold in all the hoka stores, lah. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Nice, nice, nice. So that was a nice little experience, and uh, yeah. So how 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 did Atlas come about? Yeah, so I know it's like one hour fifteen minutes. I'm not sure whether you are like <laughs> used to talking for one hour, but we I don't know. We've been doing it for two years. Our podcast just gets longer and longer. Yeah. <laughs> so like one and a half hours, like very normal for us yeah. nowadays. Well, yeah, yeah. Thirty hours gonna be three hours. Yeah, nice. it's nice. Huh? The, so the now I understand why Joe Rogan can do three hours, like, cause he's like, yeah. you know, he's got like, he's got whiskey, cigars, and all yeah. that, right? Also, he's smoking pot, lah. So yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but that's that's a t-shirt, man. <laughs> so even like uh, even all the personalities and stuff like that, yeah, I get I got to handpick them. Is that GDN? What's the name? G- yeah, GDN. GDN, right? Yeah, yeah. It's GDN. Yeah, I yeah. meet all these people. It's cool. So it was a long shoot, man. We started at four four a.m. Oh wow! wow. Then finish and, what time? Uh, Six p.m. Oh, <laughs> oh <Yeah. damn. laughs> So that was the video, yeah. But uh, yeah, Atlas, um, Atlas, Atlas. What is Atlas to all the viewers that don't know? So Atlas is a it's a running brand. Okay. Uh, but I, I think you know a couple of the USPs of Atlas is that you know it's a sustainable performance running brand. Mm. Yeah. So you know we want to be performance driven. Uh, and how it all came about was my wife was based in Dubai. Uh, for about six years so we were doing like long distance yeah back and forth yeah so I was going there quite a bit and you know every time I go there I'll just like reach out to random people on whether it be on LinkedIn you know if they're in the streetwear industry or if in the you know sort of yeah. retail scene or whatnot so I used to just go by myself to all these whether it be events yep. you just meet people right it's like kind of starting fresh and uh, I came across this German guy who is his name is Ben uh, and we became good, really good friends. Mm, so mm. we used to go for run. We used to, I used to run when I, when I was in Dubai as well. And you know, I'll, I'll call him out, and we were like, "Hey, let's go." And you know, he's since then. Then he he was coming to Malaysia quite a bit, maybe like you know once or twice every year. And he'll come to the PMC parties and okay. come to events. And he's always been saying, "Hey, you know, like." And he comes from a streetwear uh, background as well. Uh, back in back in Germany. So he was working for K1, K, K1 Kicks, K, K1 something, K1, I <laughs> can't remember what it's called, but apparently it's like a, like so a shoe store, store like, okay, like, okay. A, like a foot, like a, yeah, like one of those kind of like foot locker type yep, yep. in Germany. Um, so yeah, we, you know, we were talking about the idea and we kind of said, hey, you know, okay, let's, yeah, we'd love to do something together. Um, and both of us, we love running. Mm. So, you know, we were, talk, we were just playing with that idea, but nothing quite materialized. And obviously then COVID came. So we, I still remember our first meeting when we said, okay, let's do it was before COVID. But when we launched it was maybe three years later. Oh yeah, yeah. 2022. Yeah. So yeah, 2019, yes. you know, that was probably my last trip to, to Dubai. I was there and then I met up with him. We were talking about name. We bought the domain. Okay. That, that was the, yeah, the day that we bought the domain. And then after that, only three years later, we were kind of talking, but you know, everyone's kind of busy with their day to day, right? Yeah. yeah. So, but we just wanted to, I think similarly, what we saw was right now, I mean, back then when we launched in 2022, or even when we had that thought of that idea back in um, 2019, 2020, um, running brands, there, there were, you know, cool brands. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, Nike yeah. was doing cool things, but it was all your, your, your standard brands. It was right? like not specific just to running, right? Yeah, and I mean, it was like, not, yeah. it was, uh, I, I guess the kind of style as well, that they, the kind of stuff that they were putting out was a little bit different. So we, we and, and I, I'm also a keen cyclist and, yeah. you know, I saw that, that shift as well within the cycling industry, how a lot more of these boutique brands like, you know, your Rafa, your Maps, your, um, your Pass Normal. Yeah, Pass Normal. Um, yeah. All these guys and what they were doing. Mm. And then Satisfy came Satisfy, into the yes. picture. Like one of the first Boom. ones which I saw and I was like, oh shit. Okay, Thousand Ringgit one that, t-shirt. Yeah, that was, you know, really cool. <laughs> uh, the kind of stuff that they were doing. So... So that's how kind of how it all started. And we we're like, okay, let's create something. Um, I think we've got a good network. You know, Ben being based in Dubai, I'm here. He's got a good network in Germany. He comes from like a like a retail distribution background. 
and we wanted like at least the name itself is because we wanted it to be it's a global lah yeah. global yeah 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 <coughs> you know we wanted it to be global and it's a collective of people yep. so even for us the the goal the big goal here is even though you know we're so called like running it but we want to be able to have different hubs around the world which are having it yep. so like say for example uh, that's why like our ambassadors that we have we've got a guy guy in melbourne we've got a guy in germany <laughs> And they and we're trying to activate them to all do like run clubs out there. So okay. ACRC. Yeah. yeah. At the moment, we've got one in in Berlin, which is really happening, and it happens every month. Obviously, I'm the one handling here in Malaysia on a monthly basis. Yeah. Singapore, we're kick starting uh, in September, so we've got like two guys who's going to help us run it. Okay. And that's what I want. We want to be able to build like communities around and and uh, yeah, you know. It, it also helps that running is. The new it thing. Yeah, yeah. What happens, what happens. yeah. it's so, crazy, yeah. right? How like crazy how, many, how yeah. the trend is like. I think this is like maybe second wave or third wave in the past ten years. Mm. Maybe Victor yeah. Victor has started running. Victor has started running, so so nice. Uh, Pablo, don't you say lah? Pablo has yeah. already lost thirty five yeah. kilos. Nice. Yeah. So, uh, it's being sold around the world. This or just only online or what? Like how so, how does so, this work? Yeah. So obviously, majority of the stuff is on our website. Okay. Uh, but we do have some distributors. So we've got like two in Dubai and one in Germany and nice. here in KL at the moment and Singapore soon lah when we launch that. KL, yeah. Where is it being sold? Uh, outside store. Okay. Yeah. Outside store. Mm. Outside lah. Is outside lah. It's outside, lah, bro. Outside. <laughs> actually, actually, the other the thing one that sell the all the um, the camping gear, the stuff. camping oh, gear ah, stuff. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, I wanted to ask you because I I noticed like for the last hour we've been talking, you you seem to be very connected to the business part of of doing things, especially like meeting people, going to events, networking, mm. which is something that a lot of brand owners fail to do. Uh, mm. How 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 does that come in play? Because like for me. Because one of the things we were talking before we we say like you mm. know, we're going to get you to be on the podcast is like because in a way like other than PMC Hugo is a brand by itself your mm. your own personal brand mm. because other than being the face of a, uh, of PMC I think like like you are quite like in, in a way like that that entrepreneur yeah kind of uh, you know uh, for forefront mm. and like how how does that actually come into play because like like it's a lot of work. To go to events, yeah. I mean, even now you tell me you're going to Dubai because it's it's, it's such a big business hub and like mm. connecting with people. Mm. How how did you start going about it then? Yeah, um, you know, fortunately, I enjoy it. Okay, I enjoy speaking to people. Yeah, but and and I think that's quite natural to me. It's just my personality. Okay, uh, I think it's just my upbringing uh, and whatnot. I've always been that person. I, I'm I'm not the most proactive. Uh, or like the most talkative or whatnot. I'm a little bit more reserved. <laughs> um, but to be honest, like I, I consciously think about it. Like if I'm going somewhere, I'm like, okay, you know, I want to intentionally go out and meet people mm. or, or like, hey, you know, like these guys have been supporting us. I intentionally want to go for their show or yeah. like go for this event because, you know, the show love, lah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, so, so these things go to my mind because I think a lot of times, uh, sometimes I... Uh, there are a lot of other people out there be like, oh, you're lazy lah, you know, why mm. don't you go or whatever like that. And even my wife as well, she says it all the time, like, huh, again, another party, oh, you want to go here? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, you know, she didn't see it, right? So yeah. I tell her like, hey, no, you know, these guys have been supporting me or like, hey, I want to be able to build these relationships. So, yeah. So that's actively, I'm actively thinking about it. Um, and yeah, I mean, that requires a lot of effort, like, yeah. right? And time. There's a lot so, of work. Uh, so I have, to yeah. pick, I have to pick and choose as well. Yeah, because it's, it's, yeah. it's very true because I, I see that happening, especially in I'm just coming back to my scene because I know a lot of people always ask like, oh, how come when you do when I do shows, mm. I, I get people from different scenes coming to watch my shows, mm. and then other comics would be like, oh, we don't have anyone coming. I say like, mm. I say like it's a lot of work because because I just, you don't go to other people's show. Yeah, you know, I just <laughs> don't I just don't watch comedy shows alone. I go to music, I go sure. do everything. So that takes a lot from you, you know. Yeah, and and how do you actually mentally like because That's the other thing because I want to talk to you about as like uh, the mental health part of it because yeah. like that's why I run when, like okay. <laughs> like when do you have time for yourself you know like yeah. how, how do you like take care of yourself you know yeah, yeah. you don't just run right you do all sorts of shit yeah. Right? yeah so so yeah my my sort of like routine these days is very very different I'm an early riser and it's one of the best decisions that I made uh, how early are we talking about here 
automatically I'm up like this morning I was up at five. The heck? Yeah, what yeah. time you sleep, bro? Yeah, so no, this is also a big big problem for me. I have difficulty staying asleep because my mind's always thinking. So straight away, I normally go to bed about 11, 12. Okay. So on average, I get about six hours. I've been trying very hard mm. taking like supplements because I want to sleep for at least seven. Melatonin minutes. and all that shit. Yeah, la. yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Because you know, I'm, 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 you know, I know that my body needs yeah. recovery, yeah. especially if I'm training, I'm doing things or whatnot because I feel tired yeah. a lot of times. Yeah, wait, if five yeah. to six hours, uh, how the hell do you do all the yeah, fitness man. shit and... Yeah, so so like uh, my, my daily routine, you know, I get about five. Um, I do work. That's the time when I do my thinking. Like I kind of realized like in the morning is the time where I can really think. So I don't touch my emails. You know, I will do like more like strategy things, like more like more brain power stuff. Yeah. And something that I started doing, uh, I've been doing for quite a long time is I, well, I guess you can call it meditating. Mm. But for me, like I'll just go outside I got this, uh, this, this YouTube thing and I just listen to the same thing every day for 10 minutes. And all it speaks about is gratitude. Mm. It just says, name 10 things that you're thankful for. Okay. Mm. Name, uh, you know, be like, okay, you, okay. Know, um, you know, how does that make you feel? Just ask you these questions and yeah. think about that. Yep. And I'm always my dog. So I sit on like a yoga mat and I just sit there in the garden for like 10 minutes. Yeah. And I feel like that has helped me At a lot. At six in the morning. Yeah. So about that time. And then after that, I go for my run. And then I get to work about You run o'clock. every day? No la, no, 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 no. I sit about six days a week la, at the moment. The fuck? That's, that's <laughs> almost every day, bro. The way he says like, no la, no la. And on almost, the, almost. Yeah, and yeah. on the seventh day, he, he rested. <laughs> <laughs> How many K are we talking about here? Like, no, so at the moment, I mean, because I got a race coming up, so I'm yeah. up my mileage. So before I, I just only injured my toe. I before know. that, I was doing about yeah, I seven. I saw you posted the x-ray uh, and all that. I bet. <laughs> Because uh, I had a race coming up and I was really, you know, on track to, I kind of felt like, you know, I was there. Uh, but at that point of time, I was clocking about 70 kilometers a week, about 77. Wow. 70 a week? Uh. Yeah. So Papa, there's a lot. Eh. That's the kind of uh, mileage that I'm trying to get, get to. Lah. An extra one in case you need thank it. You, thank you, thank you, thank yeah. you. Yeah. <sighs> okay. So I think, I think that's a big part of it. Like, yeah. That but, and then there's also working out, right? Yeah. I mean, I, I balance between like strength and my and my. So if you're running every day, then you go to the gym as well. No, so like say for example, like today, uh. it will be like morning. Like I need some strength days, so uh. I got my strength in the morning, and then at night I'll do a run lah. So it means you're running and doing strength every day lah. Uh, not every day, not every day. Uh, strength is only twice a week. <laughs> <laughs> so you have that. <laughs> Philo is fit. No, but but the, no, no, but for, okay, just just FYI, FYI. I, I, I got I got to I got to give roses to to Hugh here, okay? Because like only recently last year I started taking this health thing really seriously. Sign up to gym, and like okay, need strength training, blah blah blah, all that. But you know what? We we know each other like since you started. Mm. Not very close, but since I started masses, then okay, I have to like really give a damn about every single brand and like because it's masses, smart sure. media, right? Exactly. Yeah. And and like I followed you, and I've I've known, I've known you to always be this guy who is always fit. Before the the fitness trend even came about, before the the um, all these like run crew trend and like mm. right right now it's like everyone's do high rocks la, high right and all that shit and like you already done that stuff like don't know how many years ago already mm. and then like uh at one point during covid everyone's into like the cycling thing and then but i remembered looking at your instagram and you were doing this tour like 10 years ago you go to spain or something like that mm, mm, mm. And, like i think you did it twice and then you done like don't know how many iron mans already two uh. no half only half uh, half iron man That's still pretty crazy uh but yeah it's so once i'm on this journey right then only i look at your instagram and go like it's damn difficult, bro. <laughs> it is so, so difficult to maintain yeah. I, I, your body at this level to be able to do that. I, I, so I like props to you, it. bro. Thank props you, to you. you. It's you. really, really difficult. But I think one of the easy ways is really the community that you hang out with. Mm. So, you know, it's great to see like you guys. I mean, at the moment now, every Thursday, like the Project 59, out, yeah. Right? yeah. Like, and I think a big part of it, the yeah. motivation is the people like, hey, Jom, you know, are you going to are you gonna be there? Yeah. Are you going to be there, right? So I, I think for me as well, like the whole cycling thing, a big part of it is my brother. Like, you know, we used to, oh, we do that together. He's a different monster also, right? Yeah. He's cy cycling, like, doesn't Cycling, run. yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I was just like, there was this one event, I can't remember which one, I just met him. Um, just a quick chat. 
I was like, oh, you cycled today? Say, yeah, I just did uh, 100 km. <laughs> I used to see him in a what's that? What's that cycling shop that had like coffee shop in Taiwan Tun? Oh, Grumpy Cyclist. Grumpy right? Cyclist, yes. Yeah, 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 he used grumpy. to be there with the with the with the guy. The, I can't remember the other. It's the other guy. Oh man, I forgot his <laughs> name. Aaron. Ah, Aaron. Aaron. Mm. Yeah, he was. He yeah, faced he was literally the yeah, whole yeah, Atlas. Yeah, yeah, Aaron, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we, we did a, we did a show there mm. at Grumpy. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so right now, right? We are in, we are we are in this whole trend of like fitness is the new streetwear. Well, how do you feel about this? I think it's good, right? I think uh, it's it's positive, you know? It's positive, right? Yeah. So, in terms yeah. Of, you know, people and, and again, like the, the kids of today are a different breed altogether. Do you feel like it's familiar ground because you this is something you're very well versed with? Um, in some ways, running, fitness. You know, when, when, when I look at them now, I feel weak. Lah, because, they, I mean, these guys, they take it a whole different level. Really? Do, yeah. Really? No, like, say for example, like mileage, you know, for me at the moment, like I'm doing 70, right? I had, uh, there's a couple of guys out there who are doing like, you know, younger guys, about 150. Whoa. There was one guy which I met recently. He did his uh, first full marathon. First full marathon. He did three hours, one, three minutes. First marathon. For which con- is yeah, for three contact. hours, three minutes. Yeah. For That's context, very fast paced, bro. Con- context, context is that he's about running about maybe about 415 per kilometer. That's oh, very oh, fast, bro. Wow, First marathon. Yeah. So so these these guys, when they're into it, it's like, that is their world. How old is, how old is this guy? Uh, for I, context. I, I think uh, maybe late 20s. Maybe. Late 20s. Uh, context, the how, knee's still how, very good. How uh. many kilometers is a full marathon? 42. 42. 42. 42. 2.195 yeah. or something like that. Yeah, yeah you got to let the audience know. Like, so yeah, yeah, yeah. If, yeah, if we sure. not bogat among ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, bro. Yeah, for sure, yeah. four, fi- four minutes, 15 seconds per kilometer is very fast paced. Yeah, man. That's yeah. insane, man. That's very, very fast. Oh, Pablo, how? Dream face, ah, can lah, bro, can. I think no, you lose, can, bro. man. I tell you, I've seen so many people who have just been like consistent on it, and like I, yeah, a lot of friends at the moment who just started into it, and but they're really into it right now, yeah. and shit, they they gain quick. Yeah. So I know I got up my game as well. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're very you're competitive, right? right? You're like, uh, yeah, yeah. But that's one thing about me. I yeah. I really listen to my body. Mm. So if I'm like struggling, I'm gonna feel like puke or my my knee hurts. Yeah. Yeah. I will chill one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I oh, quite good as well. I quite like you know. Oh, like Pablo, he's losing a lot of weight. I'm, I don't feel threatened. I'm like, I, I'm, I, I'm uh, on my own path. Uh, I'm gonna be you know like that. I'm, I'm very competitive, bro. Really? Seriously. Yeah. I I heard this guy yeah. pickleball, huh? Pickleball. No, but it's like, oh, it's a different beast. Uh, this no, guy. that's the that's thing. Uh, because like, I know they've, they've been asking me to go and run with them. Sure. It's just that I haven't gotten the time to do it. Right? But I got time for pickleball? Yeah, I know. But I, I know. I'm just trying pickleball it out. Calm down, calm down. Calm huh? right? down. No, is it because uh, running don't have enough hot chicks there, is it? He thinking this pickle. Are they? <laughs> Actually, there are a lot of chicks <laughs> now in running. Dude. Chicks, <laughs> <bro>. <laughs> yeah. You just get the wrong running crew, crew bro. Yeah. No, it's just that I think I, I like once, because I'm very competitive. Like Why? You must run faster than a girl. No, bro. It's just I think it's just in build because uh, when I was playing, used to play badminton, right? Uh. It is very competitive, mm. and like that that urge is very deep. It's, that's why like for me, like when I do shows as well, bro. If you want I, to give it your all, right? If I if I have a very well known guy headlining before after me, I will make sure I destroy so hard <laughs> that I can't follow. You know, I, I'm that type. You know, so yeah. <laughs> like, I think like I think what you say is so true because I think a lot of people forget if you get into the routine of it and really put mm. your heart then you can really go all out, I think so. Yeah. Because even yesterday, I was, when I was playing, some of the flirts were telling like, wow, some of these people like two, three weeks ago, very, very like soft and calm. Like third week, they are like so intense. Secret training. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like pretty interesting to see. When they go and train, they get more confident. Yeah. And then that's where the beast starts to come yeah. out. Lah. No, even Before that, like still don't know, noob, noob, like act, like, act, act humble. Ma. Man, even yesterday, I was like, everyone like, hi, hi to everyone. The moment I enter the court, my face just changed so the people get scared. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. With a beard I want to go and see this. Jumbo, Ta- let's go. <laughs> yeah, there's some pie level. After that, we opening because I finished Muay Thai training, so uh, they were training near. They were playing pickleball near where okay. I was training, so I joined them to makan after that. So this one guy came in, like they were just talking normal, you know, people like after the like the pickleball session, right? and then there's like with the topic came up that he was a comedian. Mm. So the guy, the Korean guy, mm. he was like, "Oh, you a comedian, bro?" He said, "Yeah." But you look so serious on the court. <laughs> <laughs> like, you don't look like a comedian good on the court. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. Coming back to your journey, I really want to know your schedule. Yeah, man. So you run morning. Mm. Then you say you do, you run like six days a week. Yeah. So now you're more focused on running. 
Yep. And then you do strength two so, times so a week. So that's the thing, yeah. So at the moment now, like my focus is running. Okay. Like, you know, that's all my goals. Like Cycling how? And that. So yeah, that's the thing. I only cycle once a week. Oh, and that is just to, to maintain relationship and uh, just go for coffee, right? Like to about 30Ks. La. Okay, man. So yeah, that's, you know, so all, like when it comes to running, it's considered like your, your, my personal time or my hangout time. With yep. Mm. Yep, yep. So yep. my weekend is like that. Like we do, you know, Saturday or Sunday, it's always kept for like a long run and then we'll do breakfast after. Nice. Or we start early. La. Okay. So, so gym, gym still going hard or like, like, yeah, what's no, up with that? No, di- different, You're not like, doing like high rocks level. Yeah, kind of? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, no, okay. Not, not so much that, just more of like, you know, some strength, but you know, anything just maintenance. But but not trying to lift anything crazy. Okay, time, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I <laughs> use trying to beat anything. But you can TV. still do that. That that what? Oh, <laughs> what is that thing called? Muscle up, muscle, muscle up. Muscle up. Yes, you I can do muscle up. I, I used to, but you, yeah, yeah. Like, I've seen videos of you doing muscle up before. It was a trend, so I'm like, oh shit, it's not easy. Yeah. Muscle up is like a pull up. Yeah, but and then after you body is it? Uh, oh. oh, yeah, it's. Uh, the, the what's the what's the term calisthenics calisthenics yeah calisthenics, yeah. Yeah, calisthenics. I've seen some videos those guys are insane yeah, yeah man yeah. Yeah. I like watching <laughs> <people> yeah do, <laughs> I like watching people do high rocks on YouTube yeah yeah I actually my bucket be, of popcorn and just like, I've been watching oh, it <laughs> while I eat right okay. yeah Basically, I don't know why as hell, right? yeah, yeah, yeah 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 I I don't know why I will order grab and then I watch it and I was like oh then this guy's like. I'm like, oh, this oh, guy is like, oh, a good damn, place, man. and he was like eating all these calories. So he's like, what, Shit, okay, what, what, what is High Rocks again? High Rocks is like the Olympics <laughs> for CrossFit. Go Google High Rocks. It's like every, it's pretty crazy. Almost every country has it. I think <laughs> Malaysia doesn't have it. So you know, you know CrossFit? Yeah. So so High Rocks it's now is this course, new thing um, where it embodies you need to be fast because oh, it, it has running. It's like Viper Big Challenge running but indoors. Component. Is this the one that they did the other day uh, in town? No, that one is Red Line. That's a Red Line. That one's by Nissan, right? Like a watered down version of High Rocks. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. High Rocks is a worldwide thing. Because yeah. a lot of my friends joined that like, for mm. that event. Yeah. So, so uh, me and Pablo, we go to this to Fitness First yeah. Malawati. Oh my God. So so what happens is that in between each of these exercises, you've you got to run, run one yeah. kilometer. Jesus. <laughs> so you do like 1,000 meters ski erg, then you run one kilometer. So in total, you run eight kilometers and you do all of this and it's for time. So that is the workout. Jeez. I have no interest to join High Rocks, but I live you, you don't plan to... You know, just for for forty years sake, let's go. I one. think you can do it. I mean, ne- never know, lah, right? Because like, like, I got a lot of friends who are doing it as well. They're saying like, yeah. do it. But I said I don't want to get injured. They, they don't come and like you know hustle you they like, hey, bro, come on, man. They do, they do. <laughs> yeah, I've seen people who don't do who are not nearly as disciplined as you completed. You know. Mm. Oh wow! Yeah. So they run after they run, then they go into like you know they pull the sled la, then they have yeah. to do the ski la. Oh, this oh, ski. Oh my crazy. god! All of them got no fat la. Oh, Amen. <laughs> It's like zero percent body fat. Those the, are like super. The fit. skin is just stuck to their muscles. <laughs> <laughs> so there's this guy in our gym that trains for. He joined High Rocks recently. High Rocks Singapore, if I'm not saying. Mm. Yeah, it's it's torture. Mm. So he has a personal trainer. The personal trainer is the the PT la. Okay. So PT preps him for High Rocks. Oh, wow. And it's just pure torture, bro. Brutal, uh. Brutal, mm. and he's he's just yelling the entire. Ah! <laughs> There's people actually watching them doing this shit. I watch it. Yeah, I watch it on YouTube. I watch it. No, no, I know, but this is live. People are watching it. What kind of? Oh, but most of them are families and like. Yeah, but friends. still, <laughs> bro. If Brian goes, don't tell me you, you, me and you are not gonna go watch. I would watch. No, no, I, I, I <laughs> that, that, that was me going to No, 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 no. <laughs> plant the idea. No, ever say never. No. Yeah lah. I mean, your friends. This, you know the big guys, right? Yeah. They, because apparently all of them have each other's info. Yep. Oh, of, that's why they signed them up. <laughs> yeah, bro. Ong actually signed up uh, Mama for a, for a half marathon. Oh, or 10 that's KM amazing. Or something. Bro, yeah. they signed yeah. them up for Standard Chartered. Bro, yeah. Which is crazy. Wow, that's amazing. Which is okay. crazy. But I think the like, the problem about that is mm. the the main reason why that can happen is because they actually do it. Mm. It's like, okay. Yeah, they actually go and yeah, do they it. They sign up. Yep. For ten, you can just say, yeah, fuck that, I'm not going to do that, right? Yep. But they actually do it because they're spotting like that. Yeah, right? yeah, so yeah. that's why they keep on doing Which it. Which is dumb, right? la. that's why they'll keep doing it. La. Yeah, I'll keep yeah, signing yeah. up, s- signing you up for random shit. Right? Yeah, but then, you know, that's the problem. All of us have each other's IC. <laughs> this is actually bad, bro. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. <laughs> Uh, Any, anyways, Hugh, uh, thank you so much for being on this episode. Yes, I know we talked damn lot of shit. No, no, um, that's good. Thanks for the opportunity. Thank and uh, yeah, man, what's what's coming up for for you? What's coming up for Pesamota? You, I mean, just yeah. like 
yeah, while we just before we go, just let us know what's up. What what can we expect from you? Yeah, so uh, I think on the PMC front, definitely, uh, you know, we're going to be finishing off the year strong. We've okay. got a, a pretty iconic collaboration to okay. to, re- to to cap off the year. Nice. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you know, you can stay tuned for that. Uh, also looking forward to the ageless DPTK three-way thing. So that's mm-hmm. going to be fun. We're going to be traveling as well. Cool. Uh, nice. Oh, yeah, uh, Ricardo and Manila. Yep, yeah. those two. Um, on the Atlas front, actually a big sort of learning curve um, in terms of building performance wear, but we've lined up like, you know, we've got like over like 40, 50 new styles coming in nice, and yeah. it's all coming together. So, you know, you can expect that to, yeah. to see a lot more product nice. on the Atlas front. And then on my side, yeah, just, uh, yeah, if you if you see me on the road or uh, <laughs> we've got Bali, if you're going to Bali. Oh, you're going to Bali? Month, yeah, yeah. Going oh, Bali. shit. You're doing standard chart? Yes. Full? No, half. Half, okay. Yeah. I'm doing 10K only. Okay, awesome. <laughs> see you out there, man. It's going to be great. Haven't signed up yet. Nice, nice. <laughs> I got free code, but I haven't signed up. Oh, shit. I just remembered. Yeah. Uh, how about you? Any shows coming up? Uh, not, nothing much. Just that one <laughs> show, uh, the 24th. We sold out. We're very happy. Yeah. So, Do second one. Lah. Uh, that that depends on the other two guys in my group. Who's Why the Chinese fellow never say you want to do second one? Second one, we talk later, okay? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Call him out, <laughs> but but I'm very happy that the video that the title why Malaysian why are all Malaysian lorry drivers Indian when 1.2 million on TikTok wow. uh, first one million viewer damn bro pretty cool. Uh, then next month I'm I'm traveling with Kuma to Singapore. I mean to Indonesia, Thailand. Okay, yeah, yeah that's about it. Yeah, like that lah. It was okay, okay, okay. Uh, how many more pickleball matches are gonna go? Uh, well, we'll see, we'll see, we'll uh. see. Yeah. Will we see more pickleball content on, on no, Prakash? Pickle- no, I don't want to do Prakash pick- Daniel comedy. I'm, I'm not going to do pickleball content, okay? Uh, really? <laughs> never say never. Uh. <laughs> ah. Prakash, no. Prakash Pickles. No, Prakash the Pickle. Pickle, pickle Prakash. I already got it. Prakash the Pickler. Right? Okay, okay, uh, okay, uh, okay. But Judy Hill Nippon the Pickle. Hey, actually, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, you know what? Uh, uh, Hugh, maybe you should consider like one day if you, in, in the long term if you want to collaborate with uh, comedians. Can you imagine mm. PSC coming out a collection? Yeah, that would be cool. But then every comedian come out and do a set by wearing the new baju. <laughs> That'd be interesting. <laughs> you wore that stupid t shirt. I can't wait for you to do that parody of it. Which one, ah? The oh, one, the one with Farah. Yeah, maybe you can talk to you. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, we have. I I, I got a t shirt with, uh, you know, the Step Brothers movie? Yeah. Will Farrell and Joseph. Oh, yes. So the portrait. So okay. I, I got a t shirt. It's there. Which okay. one is it, ah? Yeah. That, that, that. Oh, there you go. There yeah, you go. And that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Parody of it, ah. So, anyway, yeah, that's, that's cool. about it, lah. Hans, what's, what's up? Um, I have a clothing brand coming out. Not, not sure whether it's going to be end of. <laughs> Never more sure, bro. Never more, Never sure. more sure, bro. Never more sure. So Gotta be end. sure, bro. But uh, uh, probably we'll, I'll talk about it more when I am. I, because I miss, I'm waiting for one last piece to be okay. to be done. So when that one last piece is done, then I can do all the campaign shoots and all that. So that's nice. the, the. I think the biggest problem is I'm not going to be there. I'm not going to be in the country for like a certain for like a whole week this month. So I'm not sure. I'm the one that's doing everything. Yep. So I have to co- coordinate the timing and see how it goes. Uh, actually, I just... One thing that a few people ask me when I mentioned, it's like, hey, about uh, we're having Hugh on the pod. Just wanted to... Like, for me as well, and a lot of people are just wondering, how, what, in your opinion, what, how do you start a brand nowadays? Is there something to avoid? Wow. Ah, he chose at the end of the pod to I ask the most... No. I wanted to ask the most difficult question <laughs> to answer. I wanted to ask you ended it just now. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry, my bad, my bad. I apologize. Okay. You go to Davis. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, no. The Hans, you go to Davis corner. <laughs> Get three of your friends. <laughs> I, wa- I wanted to ask him. I was like, okay, Hugh, thank you for having. Me. I was like, damn, she's ending it. <laughs> Quite early on, it's only one hour. <laughs> <laughs> but at least you you know you seize you seize the opportunity so yeah never too late. Um, is there things to avoid? Is there things you know? Yeah, I mean like fifteen yeah. years of experience definitely. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of things you've learned, yeah. so I think you can impart some knowledge to no, our sure. listeners. So so I think I think one of the things would be you know I mean you, like you said you already got this uh, you know capsule that you've really yeah. built. I think what's important is that even though yes you know we want that to do well and you know I'm sure it will. Yeah, but. I think you need a lot of times like people, they they, they only plan for that, just that one drop yeah. and they expect to, you know, for that to do well and then to continue. But a lot of it sometimes, uh, tra- it requires time. Yeah. Like traction requires time. So, but it helps, you know, obviously you've got your community and, you know, you're well known within the scene. So I'm sure a lot of people will support. Inshallah. But, 
Yeah, but for a lot of other people, you know, if you're kind of starting up, I think it's important to at least plan like, okay, you know, if I've got this, some people buy it, I need that next collection for new people to find out about it, for people who bought during the first one yeah. to then rebuy. Mm. Yeah. So you need to to plan for that. It's not just like, okay, start. Yeah. Uh, so I would say that's one. I think, I mean, doing it alone, Yeah. pros and cons, but for me, in my personal opinion, I think, it's 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 great having you know people to share that burden with yeah uh to like you know bounce ideas and and maybe not so much during the early days but you know throughout yeah. this 15 years there are many times where you know i felt like oh shit mm. but i've always had people to lean on and you know other people to you know we we, we are able to cheer each other yeah. on and we go mm. like hey you know what fuck it you know just move on yeah learn from it and let's move on so i think that's that's super important having that yeah. support network yeah um but yeah, I have a lot of brands like coming, like people starting up brands. They come up to me for advice, mm. and I'm like, I don't really have my own brand, you know. Like, I don't yeah. really have my own stuff yet, so I can I can only give like surface level advice. Yeah. But I think like some one of my friends from outside the country, they were asking me, it's like recently, what's the biggest like brand in Malaysia? Mm. So it's a bit of a subject, subjective of question to answer, yeah. just because what do you mean by biggest brand? Is it like by how much they sell? Mm. Is it by notoriety? Is that how do you quantify that? Right? Sure. Mm. So it's like, for instance, it's like you can have a brand like in from an influencer in the US or something. Yep. And they go, okay, I'm gonna print like 300 pieces of a t-shirt, and it's like to them that's like small. But yep. to us, if you can confidently print 300 t-shirts and you know it'll sell, that's a lot. You know, because sure. Malaysia is that small. Yeah. So I think in Malaysia average, you would maybe be like below 100 pieces for like uh, for if you're like no, you know, like not that established yet. Mm. But a lot of people come up to me and ask me, it's like. Hey, uh, for in terms of quantity of production and all that, how do I know how much to print? Mm. Right? You need then, to know how many people will buy. La. Yeah, yeah, especially mm. when you're new and all that, you don't have the, the confidence, right? Yeah. Is there any advice you can give on that for yeah. all the pe- listeners out there? I, I think at the end of the day, I mean, you're kind of like starting off, uh, it's, it's really sort of trial and error. Yeah. Uh, but I think it's always better to be able to, to sell out, no? Because once you sell out, you can always print more <laughs> rather than, you know, yeah. go too deep and after yeah. that, you know, yeah. worry about that. Right. So, but I, I think, you know, for us, the way that we do a lot of the forecasting of, of, you know, how deep we actually go, it's again, it's all true data. Yeah. It's uh yeah, we kind of base everything off like, you know, past sales and yeah. how much volume we've been moving and whatever. pre-order maybe. I don't know. Cause I know a lot of people they just put the like, design up, get a pre-order done. They will ask the Kilang what's the MOQ. <laughs> you know, it's like they'll do the, do the yeah. minimum. Mm. But I mean, sometimes it's gut feelings, so, yeah. right? You see, like, wow, I'm I'm really feeling this design. <coughs> I think I'm so confident, and you have like the community behind you. Then yeah. do and pre-order lah, put it up. Like, oh, siapa nak Roger s- sign up to this uh, Google shit? Something like that. I don't yeah. know. Kena kena langga juga. Yeah. yeah. Yakin kena yakin juga. Yeah, but yakin is like there's there's two mm. like if you not so yakin you do pre order, but if you very yakin you like mm. super yeah. confident, and you just order deep, and then when it really you know the the order comes through and you really sell out. Yeah. That's a big confidence boost, bro. It it just helps you like iron out like and just yeah. stamps like okay my gut feeling is correct. Because I think there's so many new brands like trying to pop up, right? Because yep. I I think in the past like two or three months, I've had like at least like five or six people like, approach me. It's like, mm. hey, can you give me advice? And I'm like, dude, I don't know, man. Mm. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But my brand was supposed to come out in May. It is August. <laughs> yeah, it's not easy, man. Yeah, we also have our fair shares of uh, headache yeah. <laughs> running a brand. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like having so many friends, I yeah. think I've said this many times. Like, having so many friends who are brand owners and knowing the difficulty of starting a brand. Yeah, we. I think starting a brand is is not that difficult. Yeah, we we, we did we did the <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. I mean like just learning from you guys and listening to all your stories, right? And then the next thing we did was just go and start our own brand. <laughs> Stupid, <laughs> <laughs> like, You already know how difficult it is. Why? Why? <laughs> Why? You know, like there was this famous interview, like Bobby Bobby Hundreds, uh. mm. It's like, oh, what advice do you have for like people who want to start a brand? Don't start a brand. <laughs> <laughs> was this Staple, Jeff Staple, or Bobby? I can't remember one of them, lah. But sounds like sounds like a Bobby thing to say. Like Bobby yeah. would say that, yeah. But no, um, but but that being said, man, I think the amount of doors, opportunities, friendships that you know mm. PMC has brought is yeah. You know, I would I, would, I mean it's me it's been amazing, lah. You wouldn't trade it, ah. Uh? Wouldn't trade it. Nice. Would you Would you have done anything differently? 
Uh, maybe I would have raised more money la, when the time was right. <laughs> <laughs> that was the only thing. La. But besides that, no, I think, you know, whatever sort of, um, whatever sort of like failures along the way, it's taught me a lot. Yeah. yeah. And it sort of like made us who we are. So, yeah. Okay. okay. Cool. Yeah. Nice, man. I'm good, yeah. So, any more no, like no, life-changing no, questions no. you want to ask? <laughs> I'm, no, 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 I'm, I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. You sure? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just give you five more seconds, bro. <laughs> oh, no, no. Uh, so... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's why you need to do raise more money here <laughs> all right man all right. uh thank you all for watching i hope you all have been blessed by this uh, episode you know and like please go and follow hugh follow peso mota atlas atlas um I, if i'm not mistaken he has a account for his dog as well <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> i like i like how it's like <laughs> <laughs> yeah and then like never more sure it's coming out go and follow cute for little. and then uh, I don't know follow Prakash uh, for more pickleball updates oh, geez, and if he maybe sells another extra show if he can convince the Chinese fellow to do it <laughs> <laughs> yeah anyway yeah okay thank you everyone thank, thank you, you, ah, thank, you ah. thank you ah bye ciao bye.